This is really not good. Hold on! You must be tired of these lectures. I know I'm tired of giving them. And now you have to stay here with me all weekend instead of going on the retreat with everyone else? I don't care. Yes, that is the crux of the problem. I don't see why I'm the only one being punished. Because you started the fight. He wouldn't give me back my book. I told you to leave those books in your room. You only have yourself to blame. It doesn't give him the right to just snatch it from me. Does that give you the right to start throwing punches? It wasn't just about the book. What was it then? Uh, 
Nothing. I'll save it for confession. No matter what I try, you seem insistent on going down the same sad road as your brother. What a waste. See you. Up and around we go. Whoa. Too slippery. and quiet. Uh-oh. Isn't it our job to help boys like him? In the meantime, I'm neglecting the other dozen boys under my care. <sighs> what do you want me to do? You know my opinion. <laughs> I'm not ready to give up on him yet. You can't keep avoiding it. Look, I'll talk to him in the morning, okay? Good night, Father. Good night, Sister Catherine. file. Sister. Almost there. Sam? Ooh, you gotta learn to watch your back. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's good to see you, little brother. Who's that? Really? Again? It's nothing. You told me you'd stay out of trouble, though. You 
was talking shit about us. So? He said that Dad dumped us here because we're worthless, and Mom is in hell because- Nathan, Nathan, come on, they're just saying it because it gets to you, all right? You just gotta learn to laugh it off. You wouldn't. Well, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> here. You'll catch a cold. So, what are you doing here like this anyway? If the nuns catch you, they're gonna call the cops. Well, I got something for you. They couldn't wait till Christmas. What? It's outside. What happened to us staying out of trouble? Uh, this is an exception. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice jump. Come on. Yeah, give me a hand. Right. The sister's feeding you enough. <sighs> yeah, the place is kind of empty. Where is everyone? Some Bible retreat. Yeesh. I remember those. <sighs> How's Father Duffy doing? He's the one decent guy in there. You should come and say hi. Nah. I don't need the guilt. Getting there. That was easy. Come on. <clears throat> Damn. You didn't prop it. I, I, I did. At least I thought I did. No, it doesn't matter. We're gonna take the high road. The high road? Just follow me. Watch this. Whoa. And now, we take the high road. Have you done this before? Uh, once or twice. Here, come on. Your turn. What you been up to? I'm working mostly. You still dating that girl? Oh, uh, Crystal? Uh, on again, off again. Currently, off again. Okay. No guts. No glory. Whoa, whoa. Just don't think about it. You got this. I got you. See? No big deal. Yeah. Nothing to it. Stay with me. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Totally. Through here. Right behind you. There's a jump coming up. Okay. Okay. Right down the middle. Nice ah. and easy. Nice and easy. Oops. Was that a sin? I think that's a sin. You ready, Tarzan? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Oh. Up the steeple. Come on. I can't jump that high. Right, just go around the corner. 
It's a nice view, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. You ever been up here before? This particular roof? No. But you do know where you're going, right? Eh, more or less. Now you wait here, and you watch me. Oh, oh, oh. Run. Ah. Your turn. Okay. You got this. You got All right, go ahead. Just don't overthink it. Oh, crap! Ah. Gotcha! Come on. I did it. Yeah, of course you did. Follow me. You know what? How about you take this one? Really? Yeah, really. I'll follow your lead. Attaboy, Nate. Hey. To you. Now head down. Just like that, we're out. All right. Check it out. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> you got the two fifty. 250? What are you talking about? No, this is the 500 cc twin. No way. Yeah. Where'd you lift it from? Whoa. That's a low blow. But hey, I'll have you know that I am a changed man. Bought this with hard earned cash. Here, come on. Take a seat. What? The only time you pull a stunt like this is when you're trying to make up for something. You are too smart for your own good, you know that? All right. I got this job. Pays well. Really well. But, uh, I gotta leave town for a little bit. What's a little bit? Uh, like, uh, a year. At the most, and then I'll be back before you even know it, all right? You're bailing on me. Uh, come on, don't be so dramatic. What, so it wasn't bad enough to leave me in that place? How could you do this to me, Sam? Hey, wait, I'm doing this for you. The money I make is for the both of us. And then in a couple of years, a when you're out... years? Take me with you. I, I can barely support myself. I'll pitch in. I know you think the orphanage sucks. You have no idea. Yeah, but it's the best thing for you right now. All right? You just gotta trust me on that one. It's not fair. Yeah. Nothing about our lives has been fair. We've made it work, right? Sure. Well, you know, the bike wasn't the only surprise. And I guess I'm gonna have to ruin the next one. What? I found Mom's stuff. Everything that Dad sold, I tracked down the buyer. If you're saying this just to make me feel better... Oh, I swear to God. Where? Yeah. On the other side of town. What do you say we go and get it back? You mean steal it? Eh, it's not stealing if it was ours to begin with. I'm pretty sure the cops aren't gonna see it that way. Well then let's not get caught. You ready for this? Hell yeah. Esto va a estar más fácil de lo que esperaba, ¿eh? 
You're gonna have to do it better than that, pal. Acabemos con esto. Let's go. Chingada, este gringo sabe pelear, eh? Puede ir. Elimina. Ojalá como te sales de esta, cara. Bueno, ahí. ¿Qué tal esto? Let's go, let's go, me. Gánemelo. Right back at you. Lucha como un hombre. All right. Yes, boy. I got you now. Dale una paliza, amigo. Toma esto, pendejo. Rompe el cráneo. Esto es para meterte con nosotros. Ahora sí, pendejo. Te vas a arrepentir. Puedes hacerlo. Come on. Vuelve ahí. Shit! Te voy a matar, come mierda. Te voy a cerrar la bocota, gringo. Get off for me! Ya basta. Puedes hacerlo. Regresa, idiota. Suéltame. We weren't fighting, huh? Right, little guy? Te voy a matar, gringo, come mierda. Hey, give me a call when you're. Tall enough to ride the rides. Te voy a sacar tiras por el culo. Solitaria. Cállalo. Te voy a estar esperando aquí, eh. Abre. Come on. How long am I supposed to be in here? Huh? Where's the toilet? You looking at it? Have fun. I will. Gracias. Having a great dream too. Hey, hey, hey! All right, easy. Ah. All right, calmate. Por favor. ¿En dónde me quedé dentro de nuevo? Culpa, pendejo. Yeah. Any chance I can take a shower? Morning, boys. Or is it the evening? It's hard to tell down here. Oye, idiota! Get up the stairs. Viene saliendo un prisionero. Abran la reja. Hey, nice to see you. That's right. Humid. Welcome to Panama. Hey, gringo. Vi lo que hiciste a Gustavo. Tengo un cuchillo que tiene tu nombre, amigo. Te lo hey, Vargas. Cuando regrese. Déjanoslo a nosotros. Nos encargamos Ajá. de él. Muévanse. Quítense, cabrones. Hey, hey. Tranquilízate. Looks like you have some fans. Yeah, my adoring public. Abre la reja. ¿A dónde lo llevas? <laughs> es una sorpresa. <laughs> Diviértete. I do speak a little Spanish, you know. <laughs> Wait, what, what did you say? You'll find out soon enough. Te lo advertí, pero no escuchaste. ¿Qué está mirando? Nada, amigo. Nothing. Atrás. Este me encargo yo. Bien. Taking me anyway. You'll see. Por favor, para, para. After you. 
Yeah, this isn't sketchy at all. Hey, you know, this doesn't look like the warden's office. Go lab. Yeah, I'm on it. Through there. Through here? these cuffs off or what I want in in whatever you hope to find up there I want in <laughs> now, come on Marcus the deal was just to get us in and out of here that's it just I'm sticking my neck off for you gringos yeah and Rafe is paying you a lot of money for your trouble see but not nearly enough you were told not to open that yes I was also told not to take bribes not to bring anyone here and not to beat on my inmates. But here we are. Right, just be careful with that. It's 300 years old. I was a member of Captain Henry Avery's crew. You know who that is? He was a pirate. The pirate who pulled off the biggest heist in history and got away with it. I looked him up. It's great. Over Can 400 we... million dollars worth of gold and jewels, all from one single ship. Uh, the guns way. Yeah. yeah. I'm familiar with the story. Can you get to the point? Uh huh. huh. I occupied the highest cell in the Spaniards' prison. <laughs> Here. I hope someday you will find your way into this infernal place, bear my cross, and discover the riches of paradise. What? What do you want? The riches of paradise. Oh, it's a metaphor. No, 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 no. You and your friends did not pay to get into this infernal place in search of a metaphor. I want in. All right. I'll tell you what. Let me go up there, check out the prison cell. If there's still anything there after 300 years, we can take this up with Rafe. Now, come on. Letter. Por favor. How are you gonna get up there anyways? Climb. Oh, unless, of course, you want to do it since you want in and all. Just don't break your neck. That's the plan. Hey, did you bring what I asked? Yeah, it is just over there, <clears throat> under the work table, uh, by the crates. Do that again. There we go, piece of cake. Bingo. Now we're in business. All right, this should do the trick. <laughs> Wait till Sam hears about this. 
Onward and upward. Find the highest cell. At least Burns had a nice view before he was executed. Hard to believe there were dozens of pirates holed up in here just waiting to be hanged. Okay, where to? Modern prison was bad. <laughs> Can barely believe this place is still standing. Spanish sure knew how to build a sturdy prison. I wonder how many pirates died here. Hey, not gonna lie. This is pretty awesome. Oh man, Sam is missing out. Here we go. Burns' his cell. Cell? More like a suite. Okay. Where to begin? Sun and moon. Alchemy symbols for gold and silver. Wait a sec. I saw something like this on the letter. Huh. Well, that's part of the symbol. Ah. There's the other half. Now then. That's more like it. Okay, got a zodiac symbol. Sagittarius. And the Scorpio sign. These squiggles and scratches must mean something. and I, I. Yes. 
this is it. Time to head back. Watch that first step. Down we go. Huh. Now what? Careful. One more time. <sighs> yeah, let's see Rafe do that. Ah, there goes my shoulder. There's Vargas. I want a cut. I want in. I'll give you in. Now we're talking. You made it. What'd you find? Greg? What? The place was picked clean. If there's a clue hidden up there somewhere, I couldn't find it. Are you sure? Were you looking in the right place? Oh, maybe I just I missed something in the letter. It could have been another tower that collapsed centuries ago. Yeah. Are there uh, any plans to this place? You know, like blueprints? Uh, could be. There's a bunch of old files. Okay, great, great. Go, go look through those, okay? See what you can dig up. Meanwhile, I'll, I'll talk to Sam. He's our Avery. Maybe he can make sense of this whole mess. Right. I'll, I'll look through the files. Yeah. Turn around. Yeah. Hmm. Are you done talking to him? Come and find me. You got it. Huh? Ah, gringo! If I catch you fighting one more time, one week in the hole for you! Almost as good as mine. Huh? Ah, 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 Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're gonna keep me in suspense, are you? You were right. <laughs> no, we were right. <laughs> we just gotta find Rafe. No, and... Rafe. Don't, don't start, please. Oh, come on. Like you said, we did this. 
You and me. Now this rich asshole comes in on the tail end. How long have we been trying to get in here? We had some leads. No, we didn't. Okay? Not one. So like it or not, no Rafe, no Vargas, and no getting in here. Speaking of Vargas, we got a problem. What kind of problem? Did he let you into the old prison? Yeah, yeah, he did. Huh? After he read the letter. Mm. Hmm. So how much does he know? Enough that he wants a cut. Oh, shit. Rafe, if anybody else finds out about this, I'll work it out with Vargas. Don't sweat it. Right now, let's just let's get on to more important matters. Let's find somewhere a little more uh, private. All right, coast is clear. Okay, so what do we got? Oh, shit. Huh? Hey. May I? Just be careful, okay? Wood with gold and silver inlay. It's well made. <laughs> it's hollow. <laughs> Why would one of Avery's men go through the trouble of hiding a cheap crucifix? It's not a crucifix. Technically, a crucifix is a representation of Jesus. It's not Jesus. Well, you're right. There's no crown of thorns. He's tied to the cross. Well, if it's not Jesus, then... read the inscription. Digna factus recipimus. We receive. We receive. We receive the due rewards of our deeds. Yeah. Look at you. That's the benefit of growing up in a Catholic orphanage. That's St. Dismas. Yeah. Penitent thief. What's the connection? Guys, let's just pretend I skipped all of Sunday school. <clears throat> okay, uh, during the crucifixion, Jesus is placed between two thieves. Okay? One of them mocked Jesus. The other one, this guy, was penitent. He accepted his punishment with grace. And Jesus brought him to paradise. Penitent thief. Yeah. <laughs> what? You figured it out? There is a cathedral of St. Dismas in Scotland. Wait, the last sighting of Avery was in Scotland. It can't be a coincidence. No. <laughs> You know, I have my doubts about you, too, but let's find Vargas get the hell out of the show. <laughs> Let me guess, this is the guy you picked to fight with? Ah, uh, didn't know he had so many friends. Le dije que no habíamos terminado. Mira, nos quedaste, okay? Muy tarde para hablar. Aquí no sales! You know why? Tú no te metas. Okay. Did you have to pick on the most popular guy in this joint? Oh, I didn't hear you probably to hear. Guys, save it for later. What you got, asshole? Well, it's no chance. Siéntate! Damn. Oh, shit. We're not done here, guys. Let's make this quick so we can get out of here. Gringo. Damn! Need some help here! Get Que 
es esto? ¿Eh? Dame. Are you bringing in contraband? Fergus. Cállate. Who do you think you are? Llévalo a su celda. Trae a los gringos a mi oficina. Long enough. We almost got killed, you know. You still might. Vargas? Seriously? Oh, I didn't find anything. It must be in a different tower. Well? How can I say? I was raised Catholic. I always carry one. <laughs> Funny. Hey, 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 look. It's worthless, all right? You think I'm an idiot? Okay, you want to renegotiate? Fine. Stop acting like a third world thug. Put the gun away. Thank you. We're willing to give you a ten percent. <laughs> Think half. We're doing most of the work, twenty, and you'd never find it without us. Twenty-five equals. Sound fair, guys? I suppose I can live with that. Yeah, sure. I mean, 400 million divides nicely by four. Looks like we have a deal. Yes, we have a deal. And if you ever cross me at... Out of your goddamn mind? You want to find out? Guys, what are we doing here? We're sticking to the plan. Was this part of the plan? Just follow me. Come on. Come on! God damn it. Rafe, where are we going here? The lighthouse. Marcus said the boat the is lighthouse. right under the lighthouse. But which way? I don't know. We'll get outside and figure it out. Shit! Get in! Uh, the window! Hurry up! There, it's open! You got it! Then go! I don't see the lighthouse! Right now, let's just get away from the guards! Down this way! Through here! Watch yourself! Oh, crap! Over there, to the left! This way. Uh, uh, no, 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 wait. Uh, over here. Come on, come on. Damn it! It's locked. Guys, we can climb this. Shit! Another dead end. The fire escape. Nathan, get me out there. Come on, Sam. Ready? And... Let's go! Yeah, after you. Open the roof! Follow me! Are you Stop. sure? Yeah, yeah! Come on, move it! Seriously? Nathan! Thanks. Dame una paliza a esos idiotas! Clean house! Alright, we need to catch up with Ray. Quickly. I thought you trusted him. I do! There's a vent here! Help me push! He's gonna leave without us, isn't he? 
Not if we're quick. Come on. After you. They're everywhere. Keep going. Okay. Looks clear. God damn it. This place is like a maze. Yeah, it's like they don't, don't want us to leave or something. After this, let's stay out of prison for a while. Oh, shit. Guard! Hold on, amigo. You're right. Good to see you. Take down that ladder for us. We're close. There's the lighthouse. Like I said, skip to the plane. We yeah, don't celebrate yet. That's right. Let's keep searching over there. Don't mind us. There it is. Come on. And don't drop the cross. Made it to the bottom. Okay. According to your signal, you're at the coordinates. Any sign of our home? No. Not yet, anyway. You got any pinks from up there? Afraid not. All right. I'll just keep heading downstream. Copy that. Keep me posted. You got it. Hey, 
I might watch it down to a quarter tank. You wanna come up? Nah, I'll be fine. Can't be far. If you don't find it soon, I'm calling it. I'll find it. Alright. Hey, I got something here. What is it? No rust, right color. Maybe it hit the rocks, tore off before tumbling. Hey, you're mumbling. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it looks like a piece of our wreck. Must be close by. You're teasing me now, Drake. You're teasing me. Ah, there you are. I found it. All right. How's it look? Uh, it's beat up, but intact. All right, here we go. There. Whoa. Morning, fellas. All right, I'm in. It looks like a lot of it's still strapped down. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, by my count, we're shy two crates. I'm gonna go round them up. Hold on. How about you come up first, get a fresh tank? Ah, the crate's gotta be nearby. I got... Ha! Found one. Ah, crap. The crate's pinned beneath the trailer. Tell you what. Secure the other crate first. Then we'll lift the trailer up for you. Uh, you see? That's why you get paid the big bucks. <laughs> yeah. Found the other crate. One down, one to go. Secure it in the trailer. We're nearly at your position. All right, see you soon. <clears throat> this thing's getting heavy. Remember, only thing I want to recover from that riverbed is that cover from that riverbed is that trailer. That's one crate secure. Good timing. We're right above you. Sling's on its way down. Coming down. Okay, it's in position. Look up the trailer. We'll raise it up a bit for you. Okay, got the cable. I'm gonna try looping it around one of the axes. That's your work. Yep. Yeah. Right, that's one. All right, you watch your oxygen now. That's fine. Two. Okay, trailer's secure, ready to go. All right, get clear, we'll lift it up. Ready when you are. And up we go. Okay, that enough? Yeah, plenty. Just don't drop it on me. <laughs> no promises. Okay, I got the other crate. I'm gonna strap it in with the others. <laughs> come on, come on. There you go.
All cargo present and accounted for. Yeah, with five minutes of oxygen to spare. Jesus. Hey, maybe you should hang out then. See if you can find some other treasures down there. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Wanna ride up? <laughs> I'd love one. Let me know when you're on the sling. Okay, I'm in position. Get me out of here, will you? You got it. Going up. Whew. Look at that beauty. How you feeling? Oh, better now that I'm out of that river. I'm gonna stick like fish for a week. <laughs> All right. We're gonna come to you. Hang on. Hang it. What's up, boys? Good to have you back, Drake. Yeah, it's good to be back. Toss down your gear. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Whoa, this tank's kind of light. I'm just making your job easier, right? Drake, gotta say that wasn't the slowest dive I've ever sat through. <laughs> Hold on, is that a compliment? Cause I'm How stunned. are we doing down no, there? You know what's stunning? Give the smell. <laughs> 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 I don't know, man. I kind of like it. Reminds me of your mom. <laughs> That's cold, man. My man. Here, uh, I need your signature on this. Okay. Good to go. How'd we do? Right what do you away. think? Full recovery? Every <laughs> last bit. Making the rest of us look bad. Making the rest of you look good. Done. Man, I wish they move all this to computers. <laughs> Government's like 10 years behind the rest of the world, right? Let's wrap this up later. Hey, how much you My hero. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Let's go see what you brought us. Hey, so how about you let someone else be point man next time? You've earned a break. No, no thanks. I'll take a dive over being at the office any day. Yeah, well, uh, either way, it's gonna be a while to the next dive. What are you talking about? What about Thursday's job? Mm -mm. Oh, come on, no. Got underbid. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, competition's tough. Let's see here now. Care to do the honors? Yeah, sure. Thanks. <clears throat> wow. Look at that. I struck copper. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd be surprised how much this stuff is worth. Clients paying good money for the full cover. Sure you don't want to just melt it down, make some pennies? <laughs> Come on, let's go celebrate. First round's on me. Bar hopping with you guys? <laughs> no, no, no. Not unless there's hazard pay. Uh, it's all the same to you. I think I'm just gonna do the paperwork and uh, get home and crash. A rain check, though? All right. Suit yourself. Hey, good work today. Thanks. Hey, hey, Nate. Nate, hold on. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, I got a present for you. Present? What's this? I got some news from my contact about that wreck off the coast of Malaysia. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, the ship's intact. Yeah? Cargo's right for the piggin'. You are a persistent one. I'll give you that. And all the money came through for the equipment, too. We are all set. Except, uh, my best guy. The guy 
I trust for the job, the only one. He, he's got cold feet. My feet were never warm to begin with. Tell me, this contact of yours? You get the permits? No, he did not get the permits. Can't no one get the damn permits? Of course not. But Nate, don't you see that works in our favor? No permits means no competition. The ship is ours. No permits means no go. <sighs> Nate, this is retirement money for the both of us, okay? I don't know about you, but I don't want to be working salvage when I'm 60. Do you? Sure beats prison. No. Listen, I have to pass. And trust me, so should you. Okay, just take it with you. Humor me. I'm okay? not gonna change my mind. Well, then don't hurt to sleep on it, does it? Say hi to Carla and the kids for me, okay? All right. No pressure, Nate. But think about it. You really did your homework on this one. Narrowed down the search area. It would make a hell of a find. Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, no, no way. You are going with the others. Climbed your big brother some years back. Yee, one of the stranger things I've collected along the years. A Spanish doubloon found in a German U-boat in the middle of a jungle. Who would have thunk? Sir Francis Drake takes a bullet for Sully. Look at us. Sir Francis and his elaborate puzzles. Shambhala. <laughs> Miss you, pal. killed each other for a piece of this. Thanks for nothing, St. Dismas. <laughs> now this was a crazy ride. Hmm. Another lifetime, Chloe. Not really my style anymore. Yeah! Here they come. Take cover. I'm surrounded. Bullseye. Take that. And that. Eat plastic. Back in business. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be right there. Gotcha. Like a pro. No 
Oh no, no, I'm out of ammo! Yeah, bring it. So long. That'll teach you. See ya. Well, playtime's over. What? Hmm? Got none of that. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. How was your day? Oh, it was fine. Mm-hmm. Typical day in paradise. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I got to pull a bunch of garbage out of a river. Hmm. Yes. At least you got to go for a swim. <laughs> Did you find any exciting garbage? Oh, some brilliant stuff. It was a, um, early 21st century truck we got. <laughs> Apparently the natives called it a semi. Oh dear lord. Okay, so, so, some, some boring stuff. Tell me about the article. Well, it started out as this fluff piece about tourism in Bangkok, but I don't think the magazine is going to like the angle that I'm taking because everyone immediately commented about how rude the smog was, that it was like shock to the lungs like the second that you got off the plane. So, I kind of took this Ah! What? Where are you? I'm in here, being stabbed with a fork. Oh, really? <laughs> what? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? What? This one? Mm-hmm. It's about, you know... The uh, lost city of Bangkok. Not not of Bangkok. Lost city near Bangkok. In or about the city limits of Bangkok. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it was Valent. I was, I was in the really... ballpark, right? In a different state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asked me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. You know what? I don't want it. Really? I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not but worth it. it. 
it doesn't sound that risky. All right, if it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You haven't seen him Elena. in about two years. Well, could we please drop this? Okay, I just want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? I appreciate the gesture. It's just... I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. Stop, I'll do them. No, you on. did them last night. No, you cooked. I cleaned. It's fine. I mean, at least, at least, uh, let me, let me try to earn it or, or something. Let me, um, uh, play you for it. You'll play me for yeah, it? Yeah, 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 your little TV game thing. I bet I can beat your high school. You think that you beat my high score on my TV game thing? Yeah, I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So what do you say, chicken? Is it a bet? Oh, wow. Okay, cowboy. Okay. Watch and learn. Oh, I'm learning, all right. Is this it? No, it has to load. Load? Yes. This is taking a really long time. You have no patience. When you turn something on, you expect it to... Okay, here we go. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. Is there a problem? No, no, just, uh... Do you, uh... They make it go. Push the start button. I knew that. All right. I got it. Okay, so you want to run towards the camera. Run to the camera, got it. And the circle button is your spin attack. Spin attack! You're going the wrong way. Huh? Run towards the bottom. I know, I know, I just like to explore, you know? Okay, run away from the boulder. Why is the boulder chasing me? Just run away from it. I did nothing to this boulder. Did that spinning hurt? That was, that was, that was not too bad. What is that thing, a fox? A bandicoot. Looks like a fox. It's like a fox in jeans. Okay, smash the boxes. Why is a fox smashing crates? Bandicoot, and that's just, it's what he does. It's a fox, and it's not very realistic. Perfect. By the way, foxes can't do this. It's a bandicoot. Oh, what happened? You fell in the pit. I don't know. How do I uh, climb back up? You're dead. Well, that's not realistic. I, I would have climbed back up. He should learn to climb. Climbing's always helped me. Oh, yeah, way to go there. Not bad, not bad. Okay, grab the fruit. What does the fruit do? A hundred gives you an extra life. A hundred? Who's got time to pick a hundred pieces of fruit? <laughs> oh, that poor fox. Bandicoot. Okay, agree to disagree. Last life. You gotta make it count. Oh, I so got this. Nice. Right? Oh, these graphics are pretty good. Aren't they? Why is he stealing all this fruit? Foxes do not need fruit. He's not stealing, he's collecting. Well, it's not his, and that's called stealing. Huh, yeah, well, you would know. What's that? Nothing. Talking smack again. Stay focused. Good, good. There you go. Jump over the pit. Well, he didn't jump far enough. What? Is that it? You asked for it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I practically had it. You can give it another shot. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really use a good cleaning. Really? Really, you're gonna start yeah. the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called easy mode. I just switch it. Wow. It's way no, easier on no, Just keep mode. talking. Keep talking. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'm warning you. What are you gonna do? I'm warning you. In real life, what hey, can you do? I'm Show me. You. What can you I'm do in real you. life? What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? <laughs> um. Um? <laughs> really? Come here.
Not open yet. We're closed. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. Coming. Asshole. <sighs> yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm, uh, looking for my little brother. It's about your height, a little bit leaner. Definitely less gray in the temples. Sam? It's good to see you again, Nathan. God, Sam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> well, the doctors, they... I mean, doctors, they patched me up and they... tossed me right back into the cell. Yeah, but I... I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, everything I heard, everything I found, it... All confirmed you were dead. Nathan, we killed a guard. Okay, so they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. Jesus, Sam, I. Man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have you come back. would have come back. I know, Nathan. I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. You still with me? I need some air. You're not gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. It's a lot to digest, you know? But how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here, find me? All right, right, right. Slow down. Okay? Have a seat. Okay. I wanna hear about you. Huh? <laughs> me? Yeah. So what's to tell? Well, call some of your old contacts. Tell me some pretty crazy ass stories. These were crazy stories. Got shot, hanging from a diesel train in the Himalayas. Yeah, that uh, that actually happened. Come on, man, what did I miss? Jeez, Sam, where do I start? Start with the best part. Uh, do you remember the theory that we had that Sir Francis Drake faked his own death? Yeah, sure. Okay, he did. I found the coffin. Off the coast of Panama? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, now, get this, okay. I open it up, right? right? And there's no body. But the bottom is his old journal. Are you shitting me? I mean, what can I say? Another lost city destroyed, and, uh... We made it out alive. Barely. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I wish you could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's a story of my life, I guess. But, you know, I managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Mm. Paid off the car, the house, engagement ring, the... Engagement ring? I'm married. I can't believe... Uh, Elena, from the stories, that's my wife. You gotta come meet her. Tonight, dinner, at my place. You're coming to dinner. I can tell her all about you. <clears throat> Shit, I gotta tell her all about you. Nathan, I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? What are you talking about? What kind of trouble? Is the name Hector Alcazar ring about with you? Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? It's a funny story, but, um... Last year, he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. Not reading the night. 
Samuel, come here. Listen. The guards. They're singing. Eh, well, they're probably drunk. Perhaps. But they are content. How can they be content with their small lives? Their miserable jobs? <laughs> well, I mean, they have wives to go home to. What do we got? Huh? No offense. We have ambition. Oh. <laughs> and when we get out of here, that ambition will take us to places these idiots cannot even imagine. Yeah, well, amen to your optimism. <sighs> what will you do when you get out, Samuel? <laughs> That's if I get out of here. I'm sure you can imagine. I can. But I want to hear you say it. I will find the greatest pirate treasure of all time. Which I am sure you are sick of hearing about by now. Oh, no. The tale of Henry Avery and his 400 million in jewels and gold has... become a sweet lullaby for me. Do you really think you can find it? Given the opportunity? Absolutely. <laughs> Ambition. What is that Avery quote? <laughs> I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. Mm. I like how he thinks. What the hell was that? The opportunity of a lifetime. Señor Alcázar, un gusto verlo. Segment the key. Oh. ¿Qué hacemos con él? Samuel. Are you ready to seek your fortune? Yeah. Vámonos. Holy shit. Los demás están en posición. En camino. Todo va de acuerdo. How long have you had this plant? Since the moment I set food in this place. Samuel, keep up. We're going to have to move quickly. Holy shit. Pedazo de... Mantenga la puerta. Nunca saldrás de aquí. Silencio. Jesus. These men are sadistic. We're doing the world a favor, huh? Here. You'll need this. You remember how to use it. Yeah, it'll come back to me. Abran todas las puertas. Hector. You do that, and you'll start a goddamn riot. <laughs> exactly. Háganlo. Get closer. I see. So now what? Estamos en posición. ¿Están listos? Sí. Busquen dónde cubrirse. Samuel, get behind something. What? Why? Just do it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Get 
Samuel, take cover! Samuel, in a minute, we will either be free or dead. Are you ready? Next for Samuel Drake. <laughs> Jesus, what is next? Uh, I think a bath. I'm gonna sleep in a real bed. Mm. Maybe find a nice warm body to sleep next to me. Uh, track my brother down. Seems like a pretty good start. Uh, it is. So, uh, how long? Do you think it will take for you to retrieve Avery's treasure? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, uh, I get back to the States, I can resume my search. How long? Uh, it's kind of hard to say until I get started. You said you know where it is. Yeah, uh, I do, okay? But listen, it's, it, it's not like Avery left some map with a big red X on it, okay? But I've, I've, I've got some very solid least. Oh, okay. J just, just wait a minute. Take, 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 hey, take it easy. I like you, Samuel. More importantly, I believed you. That is why you were here. I can, I can get it. Okay, I, I just need some time. Dame un cuchillo. You see, the problem is. I'm having all of these doubts into my mind. Hector, listen to me. I will find it. I swear to you. How long? 
Six months. <laughs> People are lazy. They always ask for more time than they actually need. Three months. Three months is a back. Three months. Half the treasure. Can you do it? Say it. Three months. Half the treasure. Now, if you run or try to hide the treasure, or do something really stupid like go to the authorities, I'll know. And when you least expect it, I will be there. At that point, death is not a mercy I will grant you. <laughs> Come on. Now, the nearest town is 10 kilometers in that direction towards the sunrise. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen the sunrise outside, huh? Mamo! When I find it, then what? Don't worry. When the time comes, I'll be there to collect. When I swear this, Samuel. Uh, let's me go and here we are. This is bad. We just pick up the trail where we left off and wait, trail? Sam, there's no trail. After Rafe and I escaped, he took his parents' fortune and bought up all the land around St. Dismas Cathedral. We combed that place for weeks. Avery's treasure isn't there. Not that that stopped Rafe. Moron's been digging for years, still hasn't turned up squat. Not really surprised. What does that mean? I just, you know, happened to do a little digging of my own. And, uh, I bet your Rafe doesn't have this. It's really amazing what you can find on the internet these days. It's just the St. Dismas Cross. Oh, is it? Because the one we found was broken and hollow, remember? Holy crap, it's still intact. Avery made more than one cross. So whatever was missing from the one in Panama... ...is probably still inside this one. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. Well, where is this? Oh, this exquisite piece is going up for auction in three days at the Rossi Estate. The Rossi estate. Oh, well, you know it. Uh, yeah. And how do you plan on securing an invite to an exclusive, heavily guarded black market auction? Well, you don't necessarily need an invitation, per uh, se. Huh? Yeah. And <clears throat> where are you going to get the money to outbid all the high rollers? I could take a second mortgage out on my house, and it still wouldn't be enough to... Yeah, you're going to try and steal it, huh? No. We are... Oh, no. No, man, listen, I'm, I can't. I'm, I'm out. What? No, I, I, I just don't do that kind of thing anymore. Besides, there, there are plenty of other guys that are much more equipped to handle this kind of thing. Like who? Uh, I don't know, like, uh... Jeez. Anybody, uh, Charlie Cutter. No. No, he's my no, go-to no, guy no, for this sort of thing. No, absolutely not. I don't trust Charlie or anybody else that you've got in that phone with my life, okay? I need you on this one. Oh, man. Sam, there's got to be another way. Not with the time I got left. Certainly not with Alcazar. Hey, hon, it's me. Hey. Yeah, uh, listen, you're not gonna believe this. What? Jameson just walked in here with the permits. Wow, that's, that's great. Yeah. I know, I know, but, uh, it's like I'm gonna take that Malaysia job after all.
See anything yet? Just a bunch of high-class, low-life criminals all cleaned up for prom. <laughs> and no sign from Sullivan yet. Well, there's still plenty of time. Looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. You see it from up there? Just the very top of it. Oh, I wonder what they got tucked away in there. <laughs> Let's just focus on Avery's cross, okay? No, you sure you don't want to pick up something for the wife? It's cute. Let's keep it simple. Right, simple. <laughs> and it'd be a whole lot simpler if it was just the two of us. <sighs> Sam, we could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? <sighs> Sam. He knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan. Same Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. And... No, 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 no. I just need you to trust him, too. Fine. Fine. He'll come through for us. Eventually. But I mean, come on, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There. See? Trust. Try to keep the tux clean. Thanks. <laughs> I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm here you know, with you in Italy, huh? <laughs> Yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Yeah, well. You know, the sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh. Uh, so this this isn't your first time here? No, it's more like uh, third. Had a couple of odd jobs. With Sullivan? Well, yeah. Okay. Well, there's that exposed beam underneath. Oh, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? <laughs> Watch this. I'm watching. I, uh... I missed. <laughs> uh, see, it's, uh, it's all in the wrist. Here, let me see it. Ah, see? Yeah, it's not bad. For a second attempt. Huh. Here we go. <laughs> You see that? Oh, like a pro. It's your turn. So where to next? Hey, bet we can swing off that beam up there. Uh, definitely. Hey, let's switch places. All right, climb over me. I've, I've got a good grip. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> First try. All right, no one likes a show-off. Okay, come on, Nathan. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. Right behind you. Okay.
Shh, shh, shh. Hold up. Per modo di dire, respira attraverso un tubo e forse non potrà più camminare. Ah, bene lista. Ehi, hey, è scommesso sulla partita. Inghilterra vince. Inghilterra, traditore. Ehi, hey, non confondere l'orgoglio nazionale con la realtà. Ok, we're good. Jesus, did you see him? That Renner thug was packing some serious heat. Should have brought guns. Sam, we're gonna pull this off so smoothly we won't need them. I hope you're right. Ah, all those years. It's the little things that you miss the most. Like what? The smell of fresh citrus. <laughs> uh, riding the motorcycle, it's little things, but they add up. That should hold. Come on down. <clears throat> ah. <laughs> These landings are a little more painful than I remember. Yeah, tell me about it. So, uh, your other wonderful finds. Uh, the ones I missed. Let's take any pictures. I wish. Elena filmed some of it, but camera didn't make it. That's too bad. I have some drawings, though. When we get back, I can show you. You have drawings? What, are they up on the fridge or something? No, I, they're good drawings. I can't wait. Ah, this looks promising. Yeah, I think you mean precarious. <laughs> Shit! You okay up there? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Suck if you missed right now. It sure would. <clears throat> but I don't miss. million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? You know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Oh. <clears throat> you remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamned. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, 
worry about that. Come on, let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Took a whole pile of cash to make that happen. All right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, if the guards see us <laughs> making for that cross... But they don't see us. Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical. That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. And that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. Except there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. <clears throat> Antipasti? I'm all set. Next, we have an Hi. To How are you? Ciao. Would you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Huh? That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room and kill the power. You mean on the waiter? You have the best pickpocket. Right. You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything... Uh, Pinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right. Follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. I gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I'm not chucking up so Excuse beat. me. Really? Oh, you kidding me? Hell no. I refuse to what are you doing? I'm uh, just going over our exit strategy. It's gonna get hairy. <laughs> Look, relax. We pulled up tougher heist than this. Yeah, I know, I know. I just try not to imagine what they'll do if they catch us. Sam, if things go bad, we'll be dead long before they catch us. That's a comforting point. Yeah. French accent. But then a few months back, I'm with my girlfriend by the Pompidou Center. I've just sold them those pieces we uh, yeah, obtained last year. You know, those hanging. Cellar's just through there. Let's go. Well, this place is fancy. Here's the thing. Of course, they play douchey European techno. <laughs> Pardon me?
<laughs> and he doubted me. Pleasure to watch professionals at work. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. You're so out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. I'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Date? You catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Nadine Ross? Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You, uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. You gotta find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. I learn one out of the kitchen, probably. Then let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed us town. Crap! You see a waiter in there? No, just more heavily armed goons. What the hell is this? Skate wasn't on the blueprint. Locked, of course. Okay, plan B. Fence up there. Nathan, come check this out. Here we go. Let there be light. I'd like to go in this joint. <sighs> Don't suppose you brought a few. Yeah, that'll do. Guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless you need to run. Oh, man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Ah, good thing Sully's driving. <laughs> Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. Hey, uh, should we worry that Victor's cheating on Dean Ross? I mean, I heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about something. I can talk his way out of anything. <laughs> uh, this way. I 
got it. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding a lighter. Hold the lighter. Cosa portiamo a quell'odioso miliardario tedesco? Ah, quello con il parrucchino in quella roba sul naso. <ride> Tanto non capirebbe la differenza. Fresh air, here we come. Hey, check this out. See that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? The what? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. All right. Good thing you kept in shape. There you go. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar. Heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? It must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. Bingo. Found the kitchen. And of course it's locked. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that and find a window. Drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Sera. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilians, Sam. What? Right. So he wakes up with a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Okay, let's get to the power room. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? <clears throat> oh, we're in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm gonna head back to the ballroom. It's not a... <clears throat> Sam, you there? <clears throat> Sam? Sully? Great. Ah! 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 
Ah! Oh, shit! <laughs> I can't believe you got away with that. Oh, <laughs> we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> recognize someone? No. I thought I did, but no. But when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. Yeah, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh. Like, dead out? Oh, no. More like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Mm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan! How the hell are you? Great. How long has it been? Ten years? Twelve? Fifteen. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. Oh, <laughs> that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the book tonight. Well, sure. What would be the point in that? And these days I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big scores. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah. I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. I see. <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item. An inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel, you two kids have fun tonight. Hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, old man. I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn Rafe. fight. get my point. Lovely seeing you both. Nate? Nate? God damn it, kid, where the hell are you? Okay. Power room. I can do this. God, why did I pick the power room? Ecco fatto. Oh, 
Speriamo di non dover cambiare altri fusibili del cazzo stasera. Direi che per stasera può bastare. Ma che diavolo? Pronto? Che cosa? circuit breakers. Ah, crap. Sam, Sully, you there? God damn it, kid. Where the hell have you been? I made it. Had a few close calls, but... Yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the power, now would be a good time. Right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here. And there's a right now. He has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. With what? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing it, remember? What if he calls my bluff? <sighs> he won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bids. Trust me. Going once. Going twice. Oh, screw it. Then we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. And for a penny and for a pound. That bit brings Don't us worry. to 120. We'll be out of there in no time. I better be. Okay. Just gotta smash the lock. Now that we have reached 130,000. Nope. We are now at 140. Nothing. Damn it. Your bid, signore, takes us all the way to 150,000 euros. There's gotta be something. Come on. Man, uh... We're starting to sweat bullets here. Yeah, Everything give me a second. 160,000 euros in the room. Signore, it yes. makes 170,000. We are now at 180,000 euros in the room. <laughs> gotcha. We have now reached 190,000 euros. All right, boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's bid, 200,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to bid again? <laughs> Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? We are going once. Going twice. Then I shall sell it for 500,000. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The backup power will come on shortly. It's gone. Move it, get out of the way. Stop him. Hey, stop that guy. Fermo. What are you doing? You're letting him get away. Speak. Sam, tell me you got the cross. You got St. Dismas right here. You want to say hi? Yeah, we really kicked the hornet's nest down here. Ballroom's locked down, security scrambling. Hey, Victor, where's our getaway? Come to the driveway out front. Just follow the spotlights. I'll bring the car around. Easy. Ho visto qualcosa che si muoveva vicino alla torre. Devi 
farlo sapere a tutti, cazzo! Che gli occhi aperti! Maybe we should have brought guns. Troveremo e li riempiremo di buchi, ma sappiamo cosa fare. Resta concentrato. D'accordo. Aspetta. Yeah. On my way. Heading to higher ground to get my bearings. All right, see you soon. the ballroom. Driveway's right in front. Okay. Everything's fine. No one got a good look at me. Just gonna play cool. Stroll right on out of here. Oh. Scusi. You're not supposed to be back here. Well, neither are you. But I'll tell you what, I won't tell anyone if you don't. You have something I want, and you're going to give it to me. Really? Well, I'm flattered, but I'm afraid I'm spoken for. If you'll excuse me. I'm not in the mood for games. Give me the crucifix. Lady. You're lucky I'm a gentleman. Because if I weren't, I would. Have... You'd what? <laughs> Alright, fine. <clears throat> Just remember, I didn't want to do this. Let's see what you want. <clears throat> Don't telegraph so much. <clears throat> nice try. I gave you that one. Freebie. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> That's not nice. Come here. Now hand me the artifact. Did you know all the artifacts here are stolen? They belong in a museum. I'm really losing my patience. Hey, right, look. I'm still a little jet lagged. How about we just call it even? Oh, son of a. Have you had enough? Or do you want to keep being a smart ass? You know, you're breaking a lot of expensive stuff in here. If you're not careful, they're gonna kick us out of here. All right, wait, wait! It's in my back pocket. 
Where is it? Alright, I'm at the car. Where the hell are you guys? Yeah, just met your friend Nadine Ross. She's lovely. Yeah, well, it's total chaos out here. I'm trying to keep it contained, but everybody's freaking out. I don't want to rush you, but hurry the hell up. Nathan, where you at? Good question. You? By the ballroom. Look for this round sign thing. It's on the way. Round sign thing. Check. Good news is I got a gun. See you soon. Te lo juro. Ho visto qualcuno che usciva dalla finestra della biblioteca. Sono passati da qui. Da questa parte. I think so. Okay. I'll meet you at the driveway. Just head towards the ballroom. All right. See you there. Victor, I'm kind of stuck here. Any ideas? The fastest way is through the ballroom. Set the ballroom's locked out. Yeah, well now that they know it's you guys, they cleared the place out. That ballroom it is. You get that, Nathan? Yeah, got it. Almost to the ballroom. Nathan, I'm pinned down in here. I can use a hand. On my way, Sam. Oh, good.
I hope I don't go to hell for this. Shit. What? It's empty. What? Oh, you're <laughs> such an asshole. He's your brother. All right. Skull and crossbones. Very good sign. Xavier's insignia. What is this? Uh, Odie mecum eris. In paradise. Today you will join me in, in paradise. paradise. It's what Jesus said to Saint Dismas on the cross. Right. But what about these numbers here? What do, what do you make of this? It's some kind of code or a phone number. <laughs> Come on. The dates. Huh? Look. 1659. It's the year Avery was born. 1699. Let me guess. The year he died. Well, uh, by most accounts, yeah, but. It means we have date of birth, date of death, and paradise. Which means we're looking for Avery's grave. It's Saint Dismas's cathedral. <laughs> Wait a second. Hasn't Rafe been scouring that site for ages already? Yeah, the cathedral. See these symbols? Yeah. These are found on old Scottish gravestones. Right. Right? Now, look at this. The layout of this place is really unusual. Uh. Here's the cathedral, but the graveyard is way over here. Rafe's been focusing on the wrong area. Exactly. Guys, we're going to Scotland. All right, all right. Wait, wait up. You do realize that Rafe knows you're coming. Yeah, we can deal with that when we get there. Look, that psycho would like nothing better than for you to show up. Plus, he's got Nadine and her whole army to back him up. Yeah, but he doesn't have this. The biggest pirate treasure of all time is within our grasp. 
I thought this was about saving Sam. It is. But come on, it's both, right? We need the treasure so we can save Sam. How is Elena cool with all this? Oh, Jesus, kid. Look, it's just not that simple. Look, with all that you two have been through together... She wouldn't understand this. You are not giving her enough credit. I can't take that chance. <clears throat> Nathan, he's right. But things have changed. Rafe's involved now, and... I can... I can take this on my own, really. Great. Well, thank you for your input, both of you. Excuse me. Hey. Hey, it's me, yeah. Now the reception's lousy. Yeah. Something on your mind, dear? Look, I, uh, I realize it couldn't have been easy. All those years away. And I'm sorry for what happened to you. But it's not his fault. I never said that it was. It took a long time for him to get out of this game. You see a gun to his head? He chose this. Okay, he's meant for this life. You really believe that? Why are you here, Victor? Because somebody's got to keep an eye out for him. No, I'll just see you in a few more weeks. Yeah, I will. Okay, I love you too. Just told her that the job was going to take a little longer than expected, which is the truth. Right? So come on, what do you say? Sam could still use our help. Well, <clears throat> I do hear that the weather is particularly fine in Scotland this time of year. Well, Rafe's really going all in, isn't he? Well, they're all concentrated around the cathedral, so that's good. Because we are going to have that graveyard all to ourselves. <sighs> Sully. Yeah? Hey, listen, we're good to go here. Okay, kids. Happy hunting. Nice chance to come with. Yeah, well, unless you can find me an escalator, I think I'll pass. <laughs> all right. See you in a few. Uh, hey, Nate. Yeah. Just, uh... Ah, just bring me back something shiny, will you? That's the plan. Well, let's go pay our respects to Captain Avery, huh? Scottish Cathedral. Strange place to bury your treasure, no? Uh, not really. I mean, by the time Avery would have sailed here, the place was already abandoned. I guess that's true. Plus, with the massive bounty on his head, it'd be a good place to hide. So, uh, what happened between you and Rafe? Nah, I couldn't deal with him. I'm pretty sure he'd had enough of me. I was still coming to grips with your uh, death and with his frustration for not finding the treasure. I'm pretty sure he was ready to kill me by the time I bailed. <laughs> Imagine what he want to do to you now. Yeah, <laughs> trying not to. Sam, listen. He's ruthless. I mean, even more so than when we teamed up with him. I mean, I've heard stories. Trust me, me too. All the more reason I don't feel bad about any of this. It's a long drop. Yeah. We need to find another way down. Hey, this should hold. Yeah, good call. <clears throat> the hell is all this? It's excavation equipment. Shoreline? What? Huh? Look. I thought they were just by the cathedral. Oh, shit. Get out! 
to meet you too, Shoreline. Seems like they were expecting us. And like they're searching away from the cathedral. Which means we should get to that graveyard pronto. Exactly. Why didn't you guys search beyond the cathedral? Oh, we did. A little. But this place is so big, without knowing where to look. It's like shooting in the dark. this place the monks had several living quarters main one being by the graveyard of course <laughs> location 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 more shoreline equipment uh, at least no shoreliners <clears throat> well, maybe we'll get lucky and they'll blow themselves up Bet. Yep. Dynamite. Yeah, be careful with that stuff, huh? Hey, got the door open. That was very loud. Hopefully they didn't hear us. Well, hopefully we just blend in with the other explosions. that door. Well, I've blown a lot of shit up over the years. through the roof. It's too high for a boost, though. Hey, we can use that yellow crate. <laughs> hey, we can use this to climb out of that building. That could have been bad. Yeah. Let's get out of here before anyone checks in on them.
There. Come on, let's go. Okay. Now what? Got it. Oh, careful. About. I taught you that move. All right, let's see it then. Hey. You see? It was clumsy. Sam, there's a ladder just out of reach. Hey, right, hold up. I'll come over. Give me a boost. Come here. I'll pull you up. Thanks. All right, there it is. The mug storm. Just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Uh, don't jinx us. Here we go. Burns a little. Those are fun. This all day. Double to wipe them out. You go where the money leads you. That's cold. It gets colder. I'm gonna take a leak while you educate our young recruiter. So what happened next? Did he put down the revolt? Our help. He kept it at bay. The money ran out. <laughs> nice no one. reason for us to stick around. And the general left one. Even I got right. <laughs> cold bastards. As Nadine says, business is business. Whatever gets more action. Gonna have to do better than that, fellas. Let's see if we can keep this up. Covered some stuff, but I don't know the details. Wait, no way I imagine that. Nothing yet. Something, eh? Check it out. Copy that. Anything interesting? Think you're good yet?
Knock him out! Keep searching! They're here somewhere! Someone was bound to hear all that. Come on, let's get a move on. Come on, this way. beyond those walls. Down we go. Where does it take an asshole get off? Easy, bro. I nearly blew my goddamn arms off only to get chewed out by that prick. I should have blocked him. The guys fronting our entire crew. What do you think Nadine would do to you? I was following her order. Still, what do you think she'd do? Turn me inside out. Exactly. Take some deep breaths and go walk it off. Stop you prick. Thinks he can tell me how to do my job. Hey, man. Over there. Movement, I think. Go There's a guy down over here. They're still here, goddammit. What the... What you got? Nothing, Brew. We're clear. This way! Nice! Oh, shit! If he did it, I can do it. 
<laughs> it's better than bungee jumping. Have you ever been bungee jumping? No, but I'm sure this is better. <laughs> so, this is what you've been up to all these years? Jumping around ruins? Yeah, that and getting shot at. Blown up, punched, kicked. All right, all right, I guess. Knifed, drugged. <laughs> There's a dormitory gate. You ready for this? Hey, give me a hand. Us. Wait, look at this place. Welcome to the St. Dismas Dormitory. The final resting place of one Henry Avery. <laughs> Let's find that grave. Nathan, <laughs> check it out. This one's got a pair of cutlasses. Looks like the scroll from the cross. The dates aren't right. Well, one down and a hell of a lot to go. Okay, cross cutlasses, skull and crossbones, and the date 1659 to 1699. We find a tombstone with all three, and we're in business. Well, let's desecrate some graves. Let's. Look over here first. Oh, okay. <coughs> and look at this one. Tempus edax rarum. Time devours all things. Jeez, cherry bunch of folks we got here. <coughs> hey, Nathan, the tombstones are over here. Done. Huh. Huh. Date is correct, but the swords are upside down. Wrong one. No, wrong date, and the swords don't match the scroll. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
Yeah, well, the sword's our match. So is the year. <sighs> Sam, come here. Where'd you find it? <sighs> Benjamin Bridgman. That's Avery's alias. <laughs> Something odd about this skull, though. It's like it doesn't belong to the stone. Well, I mean, what's odd about it is that's not Avery's sigil. Huh. Yeah, I mean, the skull should be facing... Sideways. What is that? My God. <laughs> you ready for this? Oh, I've been ready for a long time. Yeah, look at that. Let's see what we got. Crypt. A crypt hidden behind a secret door. I assume the secret door was added afterwards <laughs> to hide his loot. Yeah, one of the old monks wrote this. Sure had a thing for St. Dismas, huh? Well, every fancied himself a good thief, right? Only plundered and murdered the non-British heathens. <laughs> Guess that's what passed for good back then. Good enough. Some kind of lamp. Hey, Smokey. Need your lighter over here. You know, that hurts my feelings. Not as much as it hurts your lungs. Thank you, Father Duffy. Isn't that something? <laughs> Light's coming from the other side of the wall. Right, let's see here. I think that's 
looks right. Both lights up with a star at once. That looks right. Nathan, that's it, you got it. That looks like a constellation. Yeah, that's Libra. The scales of justice. That's an interesting choice for a bunch of pirates. Okay, let's give this a shot. Sesame. Road treasure. Shush. <laughs> no nice view. No treasure, though. No, but... Look, you see those crosses? Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, is that a cave? Right below? Yeah, I think Avery's trying to tell us where to go next. Uh, just one problem, though. Going back that way means we have to go back toward the cathedral. And back towards Rafe. Shit.
I think we're clear. Well, that could have gone better. Yeah, we're still breathing. That's good enough. Let's just get that gate open. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, go! Great. I was kind of hoping to find the treasure back there, but well, it's never that easy, right? That's been my experience. Plus, there was that cool thing, right? That was cool. that high cross. That's where Avery wants us. Well, what Avery wants, Avery gets. Kid, what's your status? Hey, Sully. We're on the trail, but the uh, treasure's closer to the cathedral than we originally thought. Oh, boy. So what do you need me to do? Well, just keep those engines warm. We'll be back before too long. You got it. Keep me posted. Will do. should appreciate the downtime. Nobody wants another Port Moresby on our heads. How about don't talk if you weren't there, hey? Everything's called a massacre nowadays to generate buzz. We don't need that kind of press. We don't need rival companies stepping into our jobs. You know what? Forget it. Why'd you bring it up then? I said forget it. Whatever.
What have we here? Very piratey. What was it? Hey, you there? I guess there's no getting away from these guys. Yeah, and there'll only be more as we get closer to the cathedral. Here we go. Come on, I'll boost you up there. All right. <clears throat> Too high to reach you. Yeah, hang on a sec. Hanging. You see what's by that wooden structure over there? Hey, I got something. Yep, we go. Christ, this thing's heavy. What exactly are you doing? Giving you a way up. That'll support even your way. Ah, thank you. You don't think the monks built this? No way. It's some kind of pulley system. To lift a whole bunch of treasure? To lift something. I can't believe I missed this. Yeah. Clearly we were meant to find it together. <laughs> oh, so romantic. Strength, huh? Not done yet. Just lead the way. This holds. Probably at home. Drinking hot cocoa? 
you five? Oh, tell me you wouldn't go for some hot cocoa right now. Well, I mean, yeah. Exactly. Here we go. Okay, we're clear. Let's hope we're done with these idiots. <laughs> hey, careful. Might be unstable after the blast. Who does excavation with dynamite? Mercenaries. I think Rafe would know better, though. Hey, Sam. Help me with this. Yo, what if it's the only thing holding the tunnel up? Then I'll apologize. All right. <laughs> Things look sturdy to you. Yeah. Sturdy enough. Hey, be extra careful on these. Oh crap! Remember, extra careful. Thanks. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. About to head into the cave. The cave? Yeah, might lose contact for a bit. Don't get too worried. All right. I'll keep the porch light on for you. All right. Call you soon. <laughs> we made it. It's quite the detour. Well, let's go see what Avery left for us. Those shoreline <laughs> assholes were right next to this cave. Yeah, but I think we're the first ones in here. here. Glad I didn't eat a big breakfast. <laughs> Creepy St. Dismas statues? Check. Carved stairs? Check. Nathan, I think it's safe to say we're in a pirate cave. Oh, is that a door? That sure looks like it. Come here. Check this out. 
A little slimy. There's a handle in here or something. Well, give it a give it a pull. What? Could be a trap. You're already in there. What's the what's the worst that could happen? Uh, I lose my hand? So we'll get you a nice hook. Give it a pull. <sighs> nice hook. All right, here we go. Really? Hello, hello. It's pretty interesting decor. For those who prove worthy, paradise awaits. To those who prove false, behold your grim fate. Yeah, well, I guess Avery was a better pirate than a poet. This... this isn't Avery's. What do you mean? Look. It's the Rhode Island pirate. Thomas too. Yeah, but it can't be him. I mean, this is clearly his sigil, but two died attacking the same treasure fleet as Avery. Yeah, well, at least that's what the stories tell us. If this really is Two's mark, then that means he's involved in all of this. How? It's a damn good question. So who do you think these guys are? Well, those who prove false, I guess. I think Avery or Thomas too are just trying to scare us. Good thing we're jaded treasure hunters. <laughs> Good thing. Great. It looks about as safe as the others. Well, it's held up this long. Famous last words. Oh. It's okay, it's holding, come on. These bridges are clearly not built to code. Sure they are. The pirate code. <laughs> not bad. We're not going back that way. Uh, at least we didn't get dropped in a pit or something. This is elaborate. You could say that. Found another switch. Careful. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the hand. Out. Whoa. Jesus. It's a pretty elaborate test. Trial? Yeah. When this guy clearly failed. Then let's do better. There's something on the bottom there. It's a bucket. Huh. Okay. Now what? Ah. Bucket filled. All right, pass it up to me. <laughs> Put it back in that big wheel thingy. All right, let's see what these wheels do. Okay, I think I see what's going on here. Something with the three crosses? Yeah. I'm guessing we're looking at Jesus, 
our good thief Dismas and the jerk thief Gestus. Well, I'm gonna figure the white cross is Dismas, so the black one is Gestus. There we go. Hey, Sam, was Dismas to the left of Jesus? Uh, well, are you looking at them from the front or the back? The front. Then, yeah, he was on the left. Okay, that's what I've got. Check it out. Something up there moved when you put the bucket on top. There's a channel running from the mechanism to the door. Okay, so bucket on top is good. Keep it there. That's it? Now you could try pulling the switch. I could.
Okay, that's gotta be it. Now let's find out. Let's? So you're gonna pull the switch? Oh, no, no. I'd, I'd hate to deprive you of that privilege. <laughs> of course. Nathan, look. I think you got it. <laughs> All right, see? Oh, shishkinates. No make kebabs today. So, if that was a test, what do you suppose it was testing exactly? Filling a bucket? I had to know about St. Dismas, whom I bet Avery and all of his crew were intimately familiar with. <laughs> not that hard of a test. Maybe it's not the only one. Whoa, watch your step. I live and breathe. Would you look at this place? Hey, come here. I'll boost you up there. Coming. Okay, I got something for you up here. Use this to reach those handholds on the wall over there. Good call. They're not making this easy, are they? I imagine it was easier when all the bridges and walkways weren't broken. <laughs> I guess we're a couple hundred years late. Let's see what's in here. There's a low ceiling here. Watch it. Ow! Watch my ah? Can it? I see some light through here. Catacombs. Uh, that makes sense. We're under a cathedral. Anything noteworthy by the dormitories? Not unless you count some cleverly worded headstones. Have you finished digging by the chapter house? We have, ma'am. The northwest sites are wide open as well. And what about the southern perimeter? Not yet. It'll take us a day to move the crane over there. Nadine. Make it happen. In the meantime, see what you can dig up without it. I'll send a couple of men over right away. Good. Rafe, any luck with those manuscripts? Can we have a minute? Keep me updated. Yes, ma'am. Did you hear? They found a whole annexed area under the cathedral. I did. Have you seen it? No. Why? Because there wasn't much left after they'd finished finding it. My men have been a bit liberal with They're the dynamite. like a hundred well-armed bulls in a china shop. But they've made more progress in two days than we've made in months. Progress? I can't analyze rubble. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'll let them know they need to give you a heads up before they do anything drastic. Or you can tell them to sit tight until I analyze the few clues that haven't been blown up. No, we can't sit around waiting any longer. All due respect, I think I have a bit more experience with this sort of thing than you do. We tried things your way. Bullshit. You've been wanting to level this place ever since we got here. No, 
I wanted to steal that cross long before it ever even made it to that auction. The same auction where I couldn't have my men around to deal with any surprises. The auction was the cleanest way but to get the cross. But instead of going with my gut, I'll listen to you. And now we have competition. Oh, well, I didn't think he'd show up. Or maybe you wanted to draw him out. <laughs> Why the hell would I do that? Because you think you need him. And maybe you do. Point is, I'm done trying to do things the clean way. If the treasure is here, we'll find it. And if not, well... Maybe it's time to move on, huh? Hey. It's not personal. Of course. I'll let you know if anything turns up. Get moving before they blow that treasure to bits. I'm gonna start making out. <laughs> hey, wait. You think she was right, though? About what? About Rafe wanting to draw you out. As long as he doesn't get the upper hand, who cares? Doesn't matter. <laughs> what panexed area you suppose they were talking about? There's gotta be some side chamber because we're the only ones here. Don't mind me. Uh, a little too high to jump up there unless you got a trampoline. <laughs> Left it in my backyard. Oh, darn. Hey, do you, do you have a trampoline? <laughs> I wish. Hang on. Oh, look at you. One crate coming up. Thank you, good sir. <laughs> well, we're definitely getting closer to the cathedral. Oh, well, what's left of it? I gotta say, this is far more sophisticated than I was expecting. <laughs> Me too. Must have taken years to build. Spared no expense to hide 400 million bucks. Here goes nothing! <laughs> Good thing you're not heavier than the crate. <sighs> okay. Made it. We can hook our ropes onto this. That'll work. Needs bridges. Oh no, I I wouldn't mind bridges per se. 
Well, can't go through there. So how do we get through? <clears throat> Over here. I don't need that. If this place wasn't completely falling apart, we'd probably be trapped again. Nathan, look around you. Holy yeah. crap. This must have been another test, but it all just crumbled into the ocean. Well, I guess the test now is... How the hell do we get to the other side? <coughs> that really safe-looking wooden seesaw thing might be better. Worth a shot. Here goes nothing. Whoa, whoa. something to weigh down the seesaw. Excellent. You sure that'll work? It's heavier than I am. I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Hey, nice air time. Oh, crap. There. Thanks. There's another test down. Yeah, at this point, I'd rather take another death trap. At this point, I hope we're at the end of this thing. Come on. Okay. Getting a bit dramatic with the statues here. Seriously. Why decorate a treasure burial site? Or build elaborate tests? Ugh. <laughs> get used to this. It's another cross. <laughs> At least this one has some jewels on it, right? Whoa, whoa, don't touch it. What? Why? <laughs> Look at it. It's the only valuable thing we've seen in this cave. Right. This is another test. Agreed. Yeah, or lack thereof. Okay, so it's it's got to be the coins. Yeah. Are we sure about this? Oh, pretty sure. Pretty sure we'll have to do. Right, just just one now. Great, I got it. Please don't. Recognize the shape? It's Madagascar. Look, star right here. It's King's Bay. Yes, it is. <laughs> Son of a bitch. He's screwing with this. What are you talking about? Avery, he's screwing with this. This was supposed to be it, so where's the goddamn treasure, huh? I mean, King's Bay, great. Well, what's next? North Pole? Outer space? Nathan. For those who prove worthy, paradise awaits. He, he was recruiting. Who was recruiting? Avery was recruiting. Recruiting for what? <laughs> You gentlemen are very, very noisy. 
Guns on the floor. Slowly. Must have known you from last time. Uh, throwing me out a window didn't do it for you? Rafe. Rafe, come in. I'm at the graveyard. Nadine, hey, we're here. Yeah, I'm looking at them right now. What? Where are you? Come back to the cathedral. Follow the holes. I'm on my way. And for God's sakes, don't shoot them yet. <sighs> Not want to hurry then. King's Bay. Yeah, but, uh, where in Kings Bay? You'll need that cross over there to figure it out, but there's only two people that can tell you how to use it. Let me guess. You two. I'm gonna leave it to Rafe. You're gonna be waiting a long time. Sorry, boys. I'm not here to negotiate. Bring me the crucifix. It's not a crucifix. What? Well, technically, a crucifix refers to cross that... You know what? Never mind. Don't touch it! Didn't we? Yeah, we kicked it, punched it, and set it on fire.
Oh shit, Sam, sniper! Find no, cover! Crap! One, huh? They shot up my goddamn plane, mate. We're fine, thanks. How soon can you get us to Madagascar? No treasure, then. Not yet. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, we're rich. Jesus. I suppose it's a start. Do you think the rest is in Madagascar? Well, there was a chamber back there with a giant map of Madagascar on the floor, so... Yeah, it's probably there. This is beginning to smell a whole lot like wild goose, kid. Look, the treasure was never in Scotland, okay? Then what was the point of all that, huh? Of the St. Dismas Look, Cross? it's like I said. I think Avery was recruiting people. The cross was an invitation. The caves were just some sort of uh, initiation. Oh, so we all passed, huh? Congrats, Victor. We get eye patches and parrots now. I don't get it. Why the hell would they go to all that bother just to weed people out? To protect themselves. Look, Avery was the most wanted man in the world at that time. He had to enlist people that he could trust in order to keep their treasure secret. What do you mean, their treasure? Just think about this. Thomas II was a successful pirate in his own right. What would he possibly stand to gain from joining Avery? I think Avery sent out crosses only to the other wealthy pirates like himself. What if they pooled and hid all their treasure together? 
That would make the gun's way all look like chump change. Exactly. Oh, holy shit. Okay, so we're exactly in Madagascar. Are we going? Kings Bay. It was an old pirate haven back in uh, Avery's time. I know it well. It's a big place. Anything more specific? Well, that map chamber completely caved in, so, you know. <laughs> what are you laughing about? The people who survived the caves. The recruits. What's the one thing they would have left with? There's a volcano on this. There's a volcano near King's Bay. Which means we need to get a move on. What do you mean? Well, you know, the news, there's been all that flooding. Maybe going to Malaysia during the monsoon season wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, right. Right, yeah, it, uh, it grounded us for sure. You know, had some equipment failure, but, you know, no one's hurt or anything. Well, as long as you guys are safe. So are you going to start work tomorrow? Uh, postponed, actually. Uh, looks like we're going to need maybe another 10 days or so. Ugh, 10 days? Hey, well, I, why don't I just uh, go ahead and buy a ticket then? Oh, you know, you don't have to do that. That's fine. I mean, you know, these guys always overestimate things. I'm, I'm sure it'll be less time than that. Okay, well, you know, don't rush. Make sure that you're safe. Oh, I will. Always do. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Jameson's calling me over. Okay. I love you. Love you too. the satellite saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. The map shows all these structures. Hey, hey, I'll be right back. Hey, okay. one sec. Oh, okay. What were you saying, Nate? Oh, uh, right. The map shows all these structures around the volcano, abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world, so if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. One of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. I see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. You still do a lot of traveling these days. Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. I was telling Nathan it's shocking how much of the business has moved in the end. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of Lockhart. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. Hard to do that in a chat room talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Not much to see here. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going.
Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Ah, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go! Made it. Okay, kid. Just... Don't drop us. Keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on right now. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. I'm getting nowhere fast. You need traction here. Nathan, the rocks. I'll be right back. Now bring me back something nice. All set. I got it. I got it. Let's not get stuck here. Okay. You go get in the hang of this. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, hang on, guys. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my spine. I'm gonna scout around. Ah, love this weather. Yeah, yeah. Car won't fit so humid. humid. Gotta be a way through <laughs> somehow. Panama, you know. Yeah, all relevant. Definitely drive the car through there. Just need to find a way over the rocks. Tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor. No, sorry. Why are you arguing with the a little guy. turbulence. Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 four four with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. I'll bet we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch.
So Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. And go. And no. Oh, that was a valiant effort. Go check out that tower. I'll come with. Got some big plans for this winch. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. Yeah. There. I know how to do it. Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, well, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. Ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine. You've come here. A well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. <laughs> Those poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. Taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. But the point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. Well, still taking a long time. Oh shit! Stop! Stop! Sam. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. You do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead.
How's it? You have that dungus hooked up yet? We're all set up. Just wait for approval from me to blow it. Good. The place looks empty. I'd like to get it over with and move on. Wait. Okay, I think that's it. God damn it, Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Well, looks like Nadine hasn't given up on excavation by explosions. Rafe can't be happy about that. Look, another sigil. Huh, Adam Baldridge, he ran Kings Bay for a while. He was a traitor, slaver, general scoundrel. Look at you. Yeah. Prison. A lot of books. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now, how do we get out of here? One down, one to go. <laughs> Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. <clears throat> Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Ray? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. The rape's got the look. Shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Just thinking the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, yeah you're right. Hey, Sam, you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was just one guard, saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. 
Just in case, you know. Sure. But you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because... The Whoa! Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. Sam, what were you talking about? Uh, oh, right. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. Check it out, boys. What is it? See all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. I let you look at this. Quite the view. I just keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> it's all some kind of dream. Sam. Oh no, no guilt trip. I'm just. Let's go find this thing. You bet. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? Can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. <laughs> hey, what do you make of the drawbridge, Nathan? A little out of place. <laughs> but you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to protect something. Such as pirate treasure? <laughs> Maybe. Huh. Shoreline must have been here before. Find his keepers. Another sigil. So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. Anne Bonnie. Mm -hmm. Operated out of the Caribbean. Thought she died in jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her, too. This up. The hell, the stairs are busted. There's no way up to the crank. I'll see if I can find something to stand on. Be careful, kid. Hey, guys! There's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Sam! Special delivery! Ugh. <sighs> 
<sighs> hey, kid. You all right? I'm fine. You all right? Yeah. You got this? Mm-hmm. I see it. I'll bring the car closer. <clears throat> Are you two just relax? I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know? <laughs> Keep up the good work, kid. Imagine that.
take that bridge down. Try that again. There we go. Tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? <laughs> you know, not to nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? Gonna take a look around. So just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. <laughs> right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure in play. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. I'm not exactly expecting to be part of There we go. We're all set. Here we go. Don't spin out now. Uh oh. Shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. The whole thing under control. Hold on to something. Oh. Ah. ah, that was a nice change of pace. Yeah, I'm almost disappointed. Uh, uh, almost. Now, let's find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys.
on, Nathan. Let's get inside that tower. Damn. It's breaked over. All right, let's look around. Hey, careful with that thing, kid. <clears throat> Uh, he's got a lot riding on this. A treasure, though. Hey guys, coming. Come check this out. Saint Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas too. And that's... Um, that's Adam Baldridge, that's uh, Joseph Farrell, and that's Richard Wall. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Well, maybe... Maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. <coughs> Come on. Boys. <coughs> Whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. Trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Victor, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery's sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, a treasure's got to be in one of them, right? Yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here.
Jesus. Is that all of them? Well, let's hope so. You okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. Sam? Yeah, over here. Hey, what are you doing? He's confirming a suspicion. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed. Okay, because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Yes, we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. Crap. Uh, but still, two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that one. No, 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 no. no, no Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly, so if we wanna have a chance to catch them, then we've gotta split up. Oh, Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. Uh, if you run into any of those shoreline clowns, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. We gotta hurry. Yeah. All right, there's our tower. You really think all that treasure's gonna be just sitting in the middle of a goddamn market? Oh, yeah, that'd be crazy. But we've seen crazy before. That we have. Oh, watch it. Sorry. to look forward to when we get back to the States. Could be worse. Could be our Stotska. Who? Oh, don't even remind me. Exactly. Okay, fine, fine. Here. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Enjoy your apple. And tell your friends. Hey there, little guy. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, you like that? Huh? Hey, tower. It's solid. Come on, it's a, it's a lemur. Come on, come say hi. That's all right. <laughs> so cute. Whoa! Hey! Hey, Sully! Hey! He stole my apple! Can't trust anyone these days. Hey, you know what? After this is over and done with... I'm gonna get a dog. Hey, if you come out of this in one piece, I'll buy you the damn dog. Can I name it Victor? <laughs> sure. Hey, Nate! Want me to buy you one of these? Sully, you gotta be crazy to wear a shirt like that. Ah. Crazy handsome. Oh, man. Something smells really good. Mm, that's right. It does smell good. Coming through. Hey, here we go. Locked. We're gonna have to sneak in discreetly, Must implied by the use of the word sneak. So, ah. 
Hey, Sully. I think we can squeeze through here. That'll work. <clears throat> Jesus. Long way down. <sighs> you okay back there? You keep your pace. I'll keep mine. <clears throat> yeah, well, at least you got a great view, right? <clears throat> okay, let's see what we got. shape than the other towers. That's right in the middle of the city. Might make getting the treasure out a bit tricky. <laughs> One thing at a time. Let's just not draw undue attention to ourselves. That'll be a first. Yes, it is. Hmm. Now, what do you bet? like we're at the right tower. Call us. They don't have the best coverage in this city. Well, no reason to wait. I'll be right back. You bet. Fingers, Nate. Can I be nervous? No, good. Trust me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Move. Whoa, whoa, 
There you are. Sure hope you're doing okay out there, Sam. Jesus Christ. Hey, Sally. Oh, shit. At least I got the door open, though, huh? <laughs> That's one way to do it. You all right? I don't know yet. You? Jeff? Come on. Let's see what Avery has in store for us.
Sure, why not? Let's see what's down here. Fingers crossed for piles of gold and jewels. Sam, finally, you okay? Just search my town. I, I got nothing. Yeah? No. We're definitely in the right place. Make your way over here. Are you serious? Uh, okay, I'm on my way. He's coming. Good. Sully. Way ahead of you. Whoa. Hey, are those our boys? Yep. Henry Avery, Thomas too. Partners in crime. Founders. Founders of what? Worst scavenger hunt ever? <laughs> there are Avery and two sigils. These are a little different, though. Yeah, they got those star patterns on them. They turn, but which way are they supposed to go? Just a second. More pirate symbols. Adam Baldridge, Anne Bonny, and uh, Christopher Condent. I mean, there's, there's too many permutations. I say we see where that door leads. Still hoping for some treasure, yeah? You and me both. Hey, look, I was right. Baldridge, Bonny, and Condent. Splendid. Why are they here in the first place? Well, let's find out. Well, that mustache. It's almost as impressive as yours. <laughs> it's hmm. all right. Hmm. Ah, uh, that's right. Content went by Billy One Hand. Guess he had one made. Huh. Bonnie was a redhead. Yeah. Nah, nada. Hey, Nate! Look, another star pattern. Bottom right corner. They're just like the ones on the Avery and Two sigils in the other room. Yeah, you're right. Here's another one of those star patterns. Yeah, but this one's different than that first one. Oh, yeah. Good catch. Thank you. See, I'm not just a pretty face. What do you think? Those Avery and Two sigils. The sigils on those lined up, remember? I bet these line up, too. Hmm.
That's... Um... They are, uh... You don't know, do you? Hey, there were a lot of pirates out there, you know? So we're stuck. No, we're not stuck. Would you... Give me your phone. What, you're gonna phone a friend? Close. Text a brother. Sully, say cheese. Mate, come on. There. You know, these are actually some nice paintings. If we don't find the treasure, maybe we could sell them to a museum. Let's find those star patterns. Okay, just saying. William Mays. American? Yeah, from Rhode Island. Just like Thomas, too. Nuh-uh. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. Hey, Richard Want. Whew. Looks like he and Baldridge were in a best wig competition. Hey, you still in the tower? Yeah, I just uh, climbed back down. What's with the picture you just sent? I'll fill you in later. For now, just tell me who's who. Well, the, the dolphins are Richard Want, the trident is Joseph Farrell, and the two hands with the pearl is William Mays. All right, great. J stay where there's good reception. I might need your help again. But Nathan, did you find the treasure? No, not yet. But I got a mechanism to solve here. I'll let you know. What is that statue holding in May's portrait? Well, the ship was named the Pearl, so maybe a pearl? Ah, very literal. Hey, Sully, give me a hand. You got it. Thanks. <sighs> Straight? Who the hell cares? Well, I care. Not a... God, look at Farrell's face. Looks like he'd rather be anywhere else. Nuh-uh. Hmm. Here we go. There.
have here. Uh, you know, I'm honestly shocked you don't know this stuff. No, I, I do. I just want to make sure Sam knows. You know, because he likes to feel useful, that's all. Aha, uh -huh. of course. Shit, what happened here? A uh, torch probably fell or something. Come on, let's see what's left. I don't recognize this guy. Looks a lot younger than the other pirates. Hmm. That's one. Ooh, Sam texted me back. Now, nah, see there, Sully? Turns out Sam doesn't know everything either. Floating is unseemly. Yeah, I know. Let's just look at the paintings. Huh. No name. This guy's get-up looks Moorish. Found the stars, but who are you? Huh. Yazid al-Basra. Looks Indian. Close. Muggle. Wait, not the muggles, the ones Avery robbed? Honor among thieves. <laughs> yeah, like that's ever the case. Edward England. Stout little fellow. Got the names of two of them. We should still be able to figure this out. Not sure yet. Maybe send it to Sam? Really? Hey, you're the one who said he's the pirate expert. Just saying. Okay, that's one. And two. Last one. All right, let's see what he makes of them. You know, that kind of looks... Huh. What are you doing? You just took pictures. Hold that. You know, Avery's recruits wouldn't have had smartphones, obviously. Obviously. So this would have been the only way for them to get to the next clue. <laughs> These are clues. Here, let me see. Voila. <laughs> oh. All right, these could be trade winds, yeah, and these look like latitudes, yeah. and I would guess that we are packing our bags again, Boyle. What? Prodeus quod licentia. Oh, no, it can't be. Can't be what? Oh, my God, so obvious. Nate. Why didn't I see this before? Jesus, enough of the beautiful mind shit. What the hell are you talking just, just, about? Hang on. Sam, did you get the photos? <laughs> Here I am, calling what I thought was Sullivan's phone, and look who picks up. How you been, Nate? Hey, Rafe. It's been a long time. How'd you get this number? 
Sullivan leave it on a cocktail napkin? <laughs> I wish. That only would have cost me a few shots of rum, right? No, no, I had to pay top dollar to find you guys. Yeah. I hope you didn't spend too much on this whole Avery thing. I hear the competition's fierce. Yeah, you pulled off some clever moves there. But in the end, all that matters is who gets to Avery's treasure first. <laughs> well, that sounds like a bet. Hey, Nate, you know I'm always game, but my partner, well, she prefers to mitigate unnecessary risks. Wow, Rafe Adler, taking orders from somebody else. Oh, how times have changed. Look, Nate, I'm gonna make you a one-time offer here. You drop everything. Go home, live your life. I'm willing to forgive and forget. For old time's sake. As tempting as that sounds, Rafe. I gotta say, I'm not normally the kind of guy who likes to quit while he's ahead. Okay. Rodeus quo licentia, forgotten liberty. These are nice pictures, Nate. Good composition. You hacked our phones. You stole my cross. Listen, Nate. If you're half as smart as you think you are, you'll accept my offer. What's it gonna be? Listen, as nice as it's been to catch up with you, I really gotta take this call, so... Well, Nate, one more thing. Nate! What? You, uh, you do realize that your phones are equipped with GPS, right? I'll see you soon, buddy. Shit. Let me guess. Goons with guns on their way here now. Sam, for God and liberty. Nathan, do you understand what this means? Sam, listen to me. Get off the streets right now and destroy your phone. What's going on? Ray knows where we are. Right, you gotta find some place to hide. Oh, shit. Sam? Sam! Damn it. Hey. Buy a new one. That's Sam's Tower. It's definitely Sam's Tower. Come on. This way. Hey, pardon me. Excuse me? Excuse me what? How long you think before Rafe gets here? <laughs> Let's not stick around to find out. Sorry, pal. Come on, down here, Nate. Nate, watch out! Shit! Everyone out of the way!
Oh, having fun yet?
Way could have survived that. Why chance it? Yeah. <laughs> you good? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get out of here.
All right, I think the coast is clear. Yeah. All right. Prodeus cor licentia. This looks like a simple cipher. Forgotten liberty. I mean, it's their damn motto. All the paradise references. I can't believe we missed it. See you two made it out, okay? Way better than okay. We found Libertalia. <laughs> Liber... Liber what are you? Libertalia. Seems Avery founded the legendary pirate colony. Uh, it's more of a pirate utopia, really. Okay, but what about the treasure? See, as the story goes, this place provided a safe haven for hundreds, maybe even thousands of pirates, and they, they shared everything. Property, resources... Money? And they kept it all in one common treasury building. Okay. So, where is this commie pirate sanctuary? Right here. That island, just northeast of King's Bay. <laughs> hey, Rafe has a copy of this. Yeah, well, by the time Rafe figures it out, we'll be well on our way to Libertalia. I'm telling you, that treasure is as good as ours. <laughs> Shit. How's the Malaysia job going, Nate? Seems like you're a hair off course. Elaine, it's... It's not what it looks like. Really? Because what it looks like is that you're searching for Henry Avery's buried treasure. And given the shoreline soldiers that are all over town, I'd bet you're not the only ones looking for it. All right, well, I, I guess it's kind of what it looks like. But, but I can explain. Look, it's gonna sound crazy. Try me. Well, for starters, um, this is uh, Sam. Sam Drake, my brother. I'm sorry. I, I thought he had died in a Panamanian Nate. jail. But I was obviously very wrong. He's been stuck in there for 15 years, and it's because of me. And the guy who broke him out wants a lot of money, and the only way we can pay off the debt is Avery's treasure. But, but that's the good news. We, we found it. it it's, it's on an island just off the coast. Okay, just stop. Was there... Ever a Malaysia job? I... Okay. Come, on, come on, wait. Elena, wait! I don't get you. Look, I, I wanted to tell you. You know what? Enough! No, I wanted to, but how could I? I don't know. Just say it. I had to protect you. That is bullshit, Nate. You just didn't have the nerve to face me again. I, I knew you would react like this. How would you react? You lied to me for weeks. If you were killed, I, I wouldn't have even known about it. And now you have a brother. Who are you? Come on. I'm me. Come on, it's me. It's different this time. I have to save him. I don't even care about the treasure. The look on your face when you walked into this room. If you're done lying to me, then you should stop lying to yourself. I got a plane to catch. You do what you have to do. Hey, what are you doing? Go after her. We're not done here. Well, maybe we should be. What are you saying? I'm saying maybe there's a smarter way to save Sam. Such as? Such as we give him a new identity. We, we 
Put him in hiding somewhere. He's I got been contact. in prison for 15 years. He's not going into hiding. Okay, fine. You go after your wife. Sam and I will head off for Libertelli. Without me? Come on, you'll get both of you killed. Really? <laughs> Kid, I've been doing this for a hell of a long time. I think I might be able to hey, handle... Hey, you want to be helpful, Sullivan? Go keep an eye on her. Whatever you say. Need a hand? I got it. Let's go pack your bags. for a second. All this running around, surviving by the skin of our teeth, I think we've actually taken a moment to step back and appreciate just how far we've come. Huh? Sick Parvis Magna. Sick Parvis Magna? Yeah. Listen, little brother. She will get over it. I mean, we bring back a treasure like that, anyone would. I don't know. Maybe I've uh, done this one too many times. Somehow I imagined it bigger. Yeah, well, we're definitely in the right place. We'll find us a spot to set ashore. Well, I mean, at least there's an island, right? Yeah, at least there's an island. So keep an eye out for anything man-made. Ah, you mean pirate -made. Sure. So, maybe Libertalia is more of a small beachside shack. <laughs> One sec. Uh, Nathan? <laughs> Nathan, you were saying? Uh, Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a tree house. <laughs> or maybe Avery spent his entire fortune setting up this treasure hunt and ran out of money to actually build Libertalia. Yeah. Hey, what if he did run out? And both of us better find a place to hide. Sam, let's check this out. Sounds good to me. Wonder what this guy's story was. Huh? Dead men tell no tales. Supplies from an earlier expedition. What do you got there? Burns.
Holy crap, Sam, this was written by Burns' grandson. Well, it makes sense. The cross in Panama was hollow. Must be following the same clues as us. Sam, let's go. All right, little brother, let's do it. You know, crazy worldwide treasure on his side. Maybe we had the right idea. What's that? Live by his own rules, traveled the world, made his fortune. His way. Uh, sure. Depart from the huge bounty on his head. Nathan? Over there, it's a ship. Oh, it's not the one. Oh, what's this? Another old letter. He, do you think he found the treasure? Oh, he would have become pretty damn famous if he did, so I doubt it. Well, I hope you're right. The grave we found was one of their crew. Marco! Marco! Forget it. <laughs> pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Strange feeling. We're finally on the verge of something really great. And I'm excited and terrified all at once. I should have brought bathing suits and more socks. Always forget the socks. Wet socks will keep you cool. Come on.
Getting my exercise today. Told you to quit smoking. Jesus, Nathan, watch it. Nathan, up there. Well, that definitely qualifies as man. Careful, made. Nathan. Yeah, yeah. Find a way up to that tower. Yeah. Lookout tower. Well, let's see if we can spot something from up there. Okay, up we go. Sam, this way. Promising. Huh. Some kind of symbol. Looks like a compass arrow. <laughs> How did you know to do that? Well, there's one thing I've learned from you. Press everything. <laughs> Down there, it's the same symbol. Another arrow. Let's go find out where it's pointing, huh? <laughs> Come on. Boat's right below us. Yep. Why don't you use... Follow these arrows, see where they go. Okay. All right, we're done here. I'm with you.
you want me to take over? I got it. Hey, look. Another arrow over there. another one of those arrows. Let's try not to sink this thing. Trying. <laughs> Secret cave, stairs. <clears throat> Man, we're lucky no one ever found this place. Whole thing would be a tourist attraction. Go. You gotta admit, this is pretty cool. Just a little higher. We can swing off that branch. All right, back in business. Okay, hold on. I do not call to my death over here. <clears throat>
Oh, Avery wasn't much for her subtlety or understatement, was he? Well, he had the money. You got it, flown it, right? Come on, let's get a closer look. Oh, look. The main entrance is blocked by debris. Again. Well, I guess Avery's builders clearly didn't take hundreds of years of erosion into account. Clearly. I need to find another way around. Hey, Sam. Come on. Give me a hand with this. Yeah, sure. Sure thing. Jeez. Really lots of lifting and crawling under things, huh? The glamorous life of a treasure hunter. What do you suppose this place was? These arches remind me of the St. Dismas Cathedral, but uh, I don't know. Oh, rope bridge up there. Yes, it is. Come on. <clears throat> See what you can find up there. You got it. Well, there's a path. But I don't see another way up yet. So, hold on. Sam! You okay? At least I'm on the other side. Okay. Uh, still need to get you up here. Hang tight. Sam! Anything? Sam, hey! You still there? God damn it. Let's see here. I ruined my marriage. Drove my best friend away. Got two psychos in their army after me. And now my brother's gone missing. Not on the bright side, there's... No... You're already up here? Where were you? It's finding a way to get you up here. All right, just jump across then. Thanks. Everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Let's keep going. Okay. Dad, we don't need that. You're already up here. Let's, let's keep going. That's where I tried to go. Couldn't find a way through, though. A sec. <coughs> Sam! No good, it's a dead end. Oh, All right, we'll head on back then. <coughs> this 
There's a path down here. Great. Right behind you. This way. Nice job. Sam, in here. Got it. Looks like we're still on the right track. How the hell did no one find this? Think we'd be doing crazy shit like this. No, I can't say I did. Looks like we're heading down. Careful. Right behind you. Ah. Ah, that worked out. That is the second biggest cistern I've ever seen. Wait. Where was the biggest? I'll tell you later. Come on, let's get down there. Sam, come around this way. Holy shit! <laughs> All right. You doing okay? Yeah. Piece of cake! Wow, what is all this? Sam, check out this diorama. Uh, that looks like a city street. I think they actually built all this stuff? With these guys, I don't know anymore. It's really well made. Blueprints. Well, brown prints. Sam, look. Hey, uh, maybe they were planning a massive theme park? Pirate land. The supplies in here. Tools, seeds, uh, provisions, probably past their sell by date. We're getting in there. Let's just lift it together, all right? Okay. Let's do this. Oh. 
God, this is heavy. Just think about all that treasure. Yeah, mostly just thinking about my back. <sighs> Shit. Whoa. That looks like we got ourselves another trial. That sure looks like it. Let's see what these do. Okay, so Ah, they turn the symbols. That'll help. Symbols on the spheres don't match the ones in the light. this Al Basra character? Uh, he was a muggle. What's he doing teaming up with Avery? The stories have it he was taken to be executed. He got freed during the battle and blew up the Dunsway's gunpowder cache. Oh, so grateful Avery brought him along? Exactly. What about that other guy? Where he started as nobody, but he was a fearsome sort. Constantly rotating. Bin Malik guy. Looks Moorish. Uh, yeah, that he is. What's he doing so far from the Barbary Coast? Hey, it was us. Coming to where the action is.
I think you got it. Ah! <laughs> and the last of our crew. Richard Watt, Edward England, and Thomas too. Sam, look, that's where we're going. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait a minute. That's only 11 pirates. We're missing our star pirate. Uh-huh. It's kind of weird. Let's see. Okay, where to now? Shit. Here's your missing Avery statue. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to get the feeling that our friend was a bit of a narcissist. You think? <laughs> yeah. Let's go see what he's got in store for us. Oh, that's, uh, that's a long way down. So, Nathan, and be honest with me, how does this stack up, you know, compared to your other adventures? <laughs> Ask me again when we finish. Don't snap, don't snap! Didn't snap. Sweet. Boat's down there. After you, Captain. Okay, island with monstrous Avery statue is to the right. I'm so excited, my hand, my hands are literally shaking. Yeah, I know the feeling. It's either that or I just, you know, I need another cigarette. Maybe a little bit of both. Looks like he's got a spyglass, but he's not really looking for it. Maybe he wants us to look through it. Treasure island, eat your heart out. Oh, no, no, no. No, you do the honors. I insist. Come on. <laughs> okay. Alley -oop. All right, Captain. What are we looking at? There. So? Big skull shaped island? What? Big island? No skull. That's gotta be it. The battalion. <laughs> That's optimistic considering everything. You know, it is just us here. You're allowed to feel just a little bit of excitement over this. Well, I'll get excited when we get Alcazar's noose off your neck. Come on. <laughs> okay. What? I said okay. No, 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 no. Your okays are never just okay. It usually means the opposite oh. of okay. Rafe? Who the hell else?
Supply box. Oh, for God's sake. Of course. Everything's gone. Maybe that's what it's uh, maybe sent to him. Right, Sam, can't lose anything else. Besides my life. I'm talking to myself, that's that's the first sign of crazy. Okay. I'm all right. Oh, shit. Just push through. Just push through.
Sick Parvis Magna. Sam. No, no. No, 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 no. Sam. That should hold. Let's hope. Please work. Please work. Go. Oh. to now. It's not reassuring. Oh. 
Oh, hey. Seen anyone come by here? Tall, lanky, full of big, stupid ideas about pirate treasure. Bad luck, huh? Trying to climb up there? In those boots? Pretty sure you don't need this. Almost there. Jungle over there, eh? It's all moving. I don't see anything. Damn it. All right, everyone. False alarm. But keep an eye out.
Ponce. And Lobant. Are you trying to give away our position? I'm just trying to infuse some culture here. Keep your culture to yourself. Fellas, a lot of you. Okay, where to? Oh, what's 
this? Wow, that is pretty dark. Seems like Burns' crew had about as much luck as me with this treasure. Shut your head off. Sam, you're okay. Yeah, nothing I can't walk away from. It's good to see you're alive, little brother. Come on, we got a treasure to find. Hold on, man, I mean, what are we doing? What do you mean? I mean, our supplies are at the bottom of the Indian Ocean. Okay, so we go steal some from Nadine's army. Yeah, and there's that. We're going up against an army. We've been holding our own so far. While being marooned in the middle of nowhere. We were trying to get here, remember? When we had an escape plan. Just hear me out. Crazy suggestion. Let's go down there and at least secure one of Rafe's boats. The boats can wait. <laughs> you want to know what we're doing here? We are buying my life back. Okay, and we're going to do that by stepping into that jungle and finding the battalion. You? even seen any signs of a massive pirate colony. Because I sure the hell haven't. It's a little late to start developing doubts, don't you think? But can we at least acknowledge the chance that maybe Avery's idea for a secret pirate utopia didn't pan out? <laughs> and maybe we're just swept up in this fantasy when instead we should be looking for a real way to save you. I'm gonna scour this island inch by inch if I have to until I find that treasure. Now, if you're confused about what you're doing here, then you can go home, Nathan. Wait, 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 I can go home? Are you kidding me? Do you have any idea what I put on the line to get you here? About what I put on the line, okay? The last 15 years of my this life. This has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with that. Holy crap. You still want to go home? Let's just see what else we can find. Nathan. Sam, up here. I'm coming. Well, no one's home. This place has seen better days, huh? Yeah, the roof could use some work. Sam, this way. Ah, yeah, that's not happening. Hey, Nathan, I think there's a way through here. Nathan, this way. <coughs> Rusty. Oh, all this crawling's a good workout for my quads. No straw, huh? Yep, some honest to God masonry in here. Well, where does masons go? <laughs> I mean, you have a chip on that thing. 
Good carpenters among them, and coopers, but not masons. <coughs> but I wouldn't give for a camera. Well, we have one. Shut your mouth. You serious? Yeah, yeah. It's on the boat with the rest of our stuff. Oh, thanks. Come on. Oh, feels good to stretch out again. Yeah, you said it. Great, I got an idea. Here we go. Heads up! All right, we're in business. You're gonna want to see this. Houses, wide street. Clearly a commercial district of some kind. Yes, thank you for that, Nathan. Come on. What do you say? You just want to hear me say it, don't you? Really want to hear you say it. All right. Libertalia. <laughs> Libertalia! The long lost legendary pirate utopia discovered after 300 years by one Samuel Drake. And? And, and his. Younger, slightly less charming brother who happened to be tagging along for the ride. You know, I always knew you'd make something of yourself one day. Yeah, just so you know, it's not my first lost city. You should, should, should just enjoy the moment. So, where do you want to start? How about that building right over there? Oh, you mean the one with the massive guard tower? Yeah. I say we go see what it was guarding. Works for me. This is... I mean, I'm speechless. Holy goddamn shit, Nathan! That's your idea of speechless? God, how long do you think it took them to build this place? Years. Decades. How the hell did they keep it a secret all that time? Hey, Sam, check it out. Blacksmith Forge. Making some cutlasses here. Avast, you dirty dog! <laughs> nice. I was doing the... Oh, yeah, no, I know. I was doing the thing. Right. You're a horrible pirate. You suppose they trade with other colonies? Uh, if they did, they didn't do it on this island. Otherwise, word would have gotten out about the place. Looks like we found the local watering hole. Pirates will be pirates. Rough place. Broken tables, broken glasses. <sighs> Not a bad view. Hey. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, cheers. What are they doing here? What we're calling this? Yeah. I mean, you throw your lot in with these infamous outlaws, <laughs> then what? You know, take a load off, 
Find some refuge. Enjoy a little grog. <laughs> it's far worse fates. Yeah, I guess. Except you have to see Avery's statue every day. <laughs> Hey, you, uh, you ever wonder, like, with different choices, how we might have ended up? I mean, like, you taking your magic show on the road? <laughs> no, that was a that was an option. I was good. <laughs> it's not a viable option. What, you know what? You're just jealous. Uh, you always were. <laughs> no, but I mean, what would our lives have been like if we hadn't started by chasing these people have been dead for hundreds of years. You think it would resemble more of a normal life? Mm -hmm. Normal. You've got everybody gathered around the table for Thanksgiving, exchanging all the baby photos, something like that? No, no, thank you. Not for me. I like the hand we've been dealt. Yeah, I've heard that before. Come on, we're, we're fortunate, man. <laughs> this is fortunate. Yeah, I mean, of course, I've been locked up for the last 15 years, so it's all relative, I suppose. <laughs> all right, well, I'll give you that. This is much better than prison. <laughs> well, my mugs run dry. Yeah, I was about to say, service here is lousy. Locked, of course. Hey, looks like there's a path or something through there. It's even a pirate utopia needs a place to lock up riffraff. <laughs> Can you imagine who pirates put in prison? That's a little hypocritical, don't you think? Pirates having a jail? Well, I guess every group has its assholes. This way, follow me. There's a tunnel through there. Hey Sam, come here. This looks promising. Right by. This is unusual. These tunnels look a lot rougher than the rest of the colony. Kinda like they were built in a hurry. 
Looks like a hideout of some kind. Yeah, but who would they be hiding out from? Themselves? Look at this. Looks like the layout of the commercial district. Uh, and boom, there's our treasury right there. See, there's the tower. What were these guys up to? That's our way out of here. I see some light down below. Holy shit. Hey! Uh, I found more of the colony.
That's all of them. Grab any ammo you can. That won't be the last of them. I think they're looking for us or the treasure. <laughs> no and Rafe? Both. Sam. Is that thing steady? Steady as anything else around here. Oh, okay, so no. All right, all right. Here I come. Hey, got some more friends up ahead. I know. This whole place is falling apart. Fuck off, man. It's been all building over the edge. Hey. Have you ever done anything like this? No. I've been throwing a couple of governments and the villages. This is something else. Stay sharp. Let's keep this jaw nice and tidy for the boss way. What the? 
No way I can let you get to. Nothing over there, eh? Hello? Hey, you okay? No! <laughs> That's it. For now, just better keep moving. Ready? All right. Thanks. Careful. It's a long way down. Yeah, I see it. What's that first step? It's a doozy. Yeah. Ladder's busted in the middle. We'll make do. Keep heading up. Yeah. How you doing back there? It's a hell of a view. Nice. There you go, big brother. Try to keep up, huh? Hey, don't forget who taught you how to do that, huh? You little punk. <clears throat> Trust me and follow my lead, okay? So, do all of that then? Yeah, something like that. It's definitely in the high rent district now. Not residential, though. Think some kind of administration building? Probably. Maybe Libertalia had a zoning committee. <laughs> Maybe they paid taxes. Who knows? Nothing up here. <clears throat> no way through up here either. must have taken years and years to build. <laughs> well, with great piles of money comes no responsibility. Full restraint, apparently. Yeah, well, money can't buy taste.
Holy crap. Some of them anyway. Jesus. Cannons, improvised barricades. What the hell happened here? Some kind of battle. It's a rhetorical question. The real question is who's fighting who? And why? This is impressive. Uh, to say the least. <gasps> Here we go. Or not. You wanna give me a hand? Yeah. It's empty. Of course it is. You think Rafe? No. Nothing's been touched in here for hundreds of years. Right. Well, search for clues? Yeah, search for clues. What's this? Old manifest. What's a treasure? Empty. Captain Avery. You've certainly seen better days. Found something. Oh, I'm amazed this letter's still intact. Hey, Nathan, check it out. What do you got? The battalion money. It says Avery Sigil on it. <laughs> Must have melted down the gold, minted his own currency. So based on that, all the manifests on the shelves, the treasure was here. Yeah. Leaves the bigger question, where is it now? Okay. So we know that there was fighting outside. Yeah, Dan, inside. What do you think, the colonists stole it? No. I think they were trying to reclaim what was theirs. Look. There's Avery. Two. Founders of Libertalia. All marked with the word thief. Not murderer, not tyrant. Thief. So by the time the colonists busted in here, treasure was already gone. Yeah, because these guys had already taken it for themselves. Pirates will be pirates, right? Uh, pirates will be pirates. Huh. I know where they moved it. What? Where? It's a map. Yeah, right there. That's our treasury. It's, it's a map of Libertalia. All right, so follow it to the other side of the island. Look, right there. New Devon. Wait, Avery was from Devon, England. He sure was. Man, those are some seriously large mansions. Each of them has its own sigil, too. Because that's where they lived. You say we uh, climb that watchtower, huh? Get our bearings. New Devon, here we come. Yeah. 
Now, how do we get up there? I got an idea. You give me a hand with this? Okay. Okay, ready? Okay, that's step one. Step two. Raise the chandelier. Good idea. <laughs> so surprised. Just take the compliment. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Now the place is looking classy. Oh, nice one, Tarzan. Excuse me. Sorry, Condon. Baldridge. What? You're stepping on Baldridge. Oh, so I am. All right. Up we go. Shock the stairs are intact. Hey, hey, hey. Don't jinx us. Oops. Like I said. <laughs> Nathan, you seeing this tower? Sure am. Sam? Yeah. All right, just making sure you haven't plummeted to your death. <laughs> just about there. <laughs> sure is excited. Hey, can you get me up there? You bet. Come on, ready? Ready. All right, I found something. They stand back. Here you go. Come on. Oh, quite the crow's nest, huh? There it is. Just on the other side of the river. Now, why do you say we go? Rob from the rich, huh? Hey, is there a path down there? Uh, of sorts. Come on. Uh, how long do you think it'll take us to get the new devil? Well, uh, a couple hours. Depends on what or who we bump into along the way.
Really? What gives you that idea? Down here, quick! Don't wait, just go! Nathan! Nathan! Get up, brother, we gotta go! We gotta go! Now! Let's try this again. Mango! Mango! What are you on about? Oh, it's my safe word. Are oh, you always this clever? I have my moments. Yes. You and your brother have proven yourselves the more capable treasure hunters on the island. Shame we're not on the same side. There's still time. Trust a trick. I'm not falling for that again. Hey, hey just, just let's talk about it. <laughs> Okay, that was a bit rougher than expected. I'll just uh, see myself out. After everything, you think I'm just going to let you walk away? That'd be the wise thing to do. Come on, Nadine, really? We know you're a badass and all, but there's two of us. I don't think my men are on their way here right now. All I have to do is buy some time. That's if I don't finish it myself. God damn it. I'm tired of the silence. I'm tired of your brother.
You're fast, but you're not that fast. Hey, forget about her. Come on, we gotta get out of here before they... Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody just... just calm down, okay? Well, this is interesting. Nate. Samuel. The gun's down. All of you. No. Rafe, this guy's on edge. Oh, don't worry about him, Nadine. These guys don't kill anyone in cold blood. It's just not their style. You wanted to bet her life on that? Go ahead, then. Shoot her. Sam. I die, you both die. So be it. Not another step! You mean... like this? Sam, put the gun down. I warned you. Do it! It's done! Hold your fire! Don't shoot! Put it down. It's done. Okay? It's done. Don't worry, Nadine. It's not their style. I say, I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> Samuel. You okay? I guess you knew this moment was coming, huh? Hey! Come on, man. You already got us. Take it easy. Come on, now you're a businessman. Let's just... Let's work out a deal. Oh, a deal? Oh, yeah. Love to hear what you have in mind. Oh, you can go ahead. I'm listening. I just... I... You want to find Avery's treasure? We'll help you find it. And in exchange, I let you live? Yeah. That and a small cut. <laughs> the gauchos on this guy. Just enough to get him his freedom, okay? His freedom? Nathan. Yeah. He did hard time. Our time. And the guy who broke him out, Hector Alcazar, he owes him a lot of money. Whoa. What the hell are you talking about, Nate? Hector Alcazar died in a shootout in Argentina like six months ago. I'm the one that got Samuel out. Oh. Wow. What did he tell you? Sam, what kind of story did you cook up? Alcazar? Really? You lied? You lied to your baby brother? We're wasting time! Just a second. Thing is, Nate, I never stopped looking for Avery's treasure. I just kept running into these dead ends. <laughs> and then I hear that our dear old Samuel Drake, an authority on Avery, is alive. And somewhat well. There was no breakout. I bribed the prison warden. And your brother, he just waltzed right out the front gate. He spent the last two years tracking down a second St. Dismas cross. You know what? He did it all with me. Oh. Oh, yeah? No, that's bullshit. Oh. Sam, care to refute? Nate. Oh, Sam. Jesus, no, no. Listen. Avery's treasure was ours. It was always ours. I left my life for you! <laughs> hey, look, look, Nate, if it's any consolation, he duped me too. He pulled a Houdini me, you, and that old man back into the mix, and I cannot lie, Sam, that really pissed me off. But, you know, all behind us now. You don't deserve it. You do? Last I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves digging around where we shouldn't. Rafe? What? One way or another, end it. Or I will. Well, you heard the lady. Hey, you missed one clue, and you can kiss that treasure goodbye. You said it yourself. Keep running into dead ends. Why don't you face it, Rafe? You need us. No, you're right. You're half right. I just need Sam. Wait, now you're making a mistake. Don't, you don't, don't, don't listen. <laughs> 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 Oh, my God. 
Nate! Hey, Nate! There it is. Who the hell lives here anyway? I have no idea. But this is definitely the address. I've been scoping the place out for the past few days. No one's home. <sighs> and here we are. Whoa. This place is humongous. <laughs> Where do we even start? Start by finding a way in. And then we can take the grand tour. You think this place has an alarm? Let's try and find a way in that doesn't involve breaking a window. It was worth a try. <clears throat> All right, let's look around back, huh? Hey, Nathan, look, it's an open window. Oh, yeah. Here, follow me. Okay, give me your hand. Come on, Nathan. Whoa. <laughs> Spooky. Well, here. I brought a spare. So, are we looking for any particular room? Just keep an eye out for any books, journals. Any kind of research papers, you know? Hmm, nothing in here. Nope. It's not gonna be inside it. Boxes are filled with old track and camping equipment. Down we go. So, how do we find them? What, Mom's notebooks? I mean, don't you remember? She always used that off-white leather binding. Yeah, I know, but... It's such a large place. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. <laughs> Here we go. White leather. Sam, I think I found one. For real? No. It's not one of Mom's. You got the right idea, though. Let's keep looking.
Was this your house? Hey, these boxes remind you of anything? Every place we ever lived. Exactly. I remember Dad was always like, why bother unpacking? We're just gonna move again in a month. Yep, always the asshole. Hey, Sam. Call me crazy, but this looks like a Ming Dynasty vase. Nathan, who in their right mind would have a Ming Dynasty vase just sitting around like that? Yeah, it's probably a knockoff of some kind. Yeah, of course it is, right? Right. We'll budge. Here, let's do it together. You ready? Push! Push! What the hell? It's some sort of sarcophagus. Yeah. Look around. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. Damn, this is real. What is this place? Well, let's go find out. <laughs> hmm, huh. this one's Roman. Third, maybe fourth century. Hmm. And you recognize that one? Uh. I've seen something like it before. Reclining figures. It's Etruscan. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah. Husband and wife. They're buried together. It's kind of dark. In like an awesome sort of way. <laughs> yeah. This place is like a damn museum. <laughs> Think they've got a dinosaur wing? It wouldn't surprise me. Here's another one. <sighs> nope. I do believe this is an ancient Mesopotamian washer dryer combo. Hey, Nathan, check me out. Now, who am I? Huh? Dr. Livingston, come on. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hey, check it out. <laughs> so where are we going? Huh? Well, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you pick? Anywhere? Anywhere. Okay, well. Here we go. India. Yeah, we'll visit the Taj Mahal. I just read this one. Oh, yeah? Is it any good? It's kind of incredible. It's about the first Western woman to visit Lhasa. <sighs> it's hot in there. Give to get an invite like this. Fertility totems. Hey, aren't you a little young to be looking at that stuff? Wow. This table is as big as the ones in the orphanage dining hall. 
bet the food here was better. <laughs> Wouldn't take much. Damn. They must have thrown some great parties in here. Judging by the artifacts, they certainly had enough money for it. Yeah. Looks like it's been a long time since the last one, though. of Arabia. Always wanted to see that flick. Jousting armor. Looks French. Hey, maybe don't go waving your flashlight around the windows too much. These compass, sundial. Just imagine being lost at sea. And those instruments are the only things standing between death and salvation. Yeah. It's crazy. Hey, they've got your favorite book here. Really? Which one? A general history of the robberies and murders of the most notorious pirates. Yeah, more like a generally made up history. Even the author's name is a fake. Fake or not, this looks like a first edition. Are you serious? Man, this place, man, wow. Wanna take it with you? <laughs> nah. It'll just disintegrate in my backpack. A dragon gong. Hmm. Huh. Looks like it's from Southeast Asia. Going in alone. Since when do you like classical music? Excuse me, I am a man of many tastes. Can you imagine being the one to actually uncover these things? <laughs> Must be something, right? Oh, wow. They knew Amelia Earhart? No kidding. Man, they knew all the cool people. Okay. I don't think Mom's journals are anywhere in here. Let's, uh, let's check upstairs. <laughs> hmm, it's locked. Mom's stuff might be in one of these rooms. We gotta find another way in. Get us into the room below it. Not us. You. What? I can't fit in there. Can you handle it? You kidding me? Can I handle it? All right. Let's see what you got then. Ready? Oops. It's a 
Polaroid. Yeah, let me see. I think it still works. Yeah. Come here. Now smile, all right? <laughs> Don't lose it. fall. Oh, no. Lock from this side, too. And look around. Is there a key nearby? Hmm. <sighs> Coding. Lots of painkillers. Anything? Didn't see any journals. All right, well, we still got the other locked door, so come on. Wow. Ah, journals galore. Well, let's see what we find. something <laughs> this is it Paradise? Definitely mom's handwriting. 
Put up your hands. Slowly. Hey, hey, hey. There's no need for that. What is he holding? Hey, hey, you keep your gun on me. Give me my journal. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. I'm sorry, Nathan. So what now? Now, we wait uh, for the police. Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that headache. Stop. I mean, the hassle of ruining two kids' lives, that's... I really don't want to shoot you. Come on, lady, it was no harm, no foul, all right? We all must face the consequences for our actions. And at least let him go. I brought him down here so he could see our mom's stuff. That's it. He had nothing to do with this. What? I'm telling you that this is all on me. No. Your mother's stuff. Yeah, that, that journal. It was our mom's. You're Cassandra Morgan's boys. Uh, hi? My god. <coughs> I could have shot you. Yeah, you still might, so, uh, do you mind? You knew her mom? She worked for me. As I'm sure you've noticed, I'm a collector of sorts. <laughs> That's sort of an understatement. So, Mom was like your translator? Your mother was the most brilliant historian I have ever met. We could have accomplished so much together. But then her illness and... I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Happened a long time ago. Of all her discoveries, this would have been her crowning achievement. Sick Parvis Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Sir Francis Drake's motto. Yeah, Latin and historical figures. <laughs> Those were our dinner conversations. We were uh, a weird family. Did she ever tell you her theories regarding Sir Francis Drake and his heirs? Uh, Sir Francis Drake didn't have any heirs. Yeah. That's what history tells us. But your mother and I believed otherwise. Learning that old pirate's secrets is just one more adventure I have to let go. I guess there's a lot I have to let go. <laughs> Forgive me. Ramblings of an old woman. Here. It is as much yours as it is mine. Who knows? Perhaps one day you'll be able to finish what she started. Uh, yeah, so, uh, we're off the hook, right? I'll handle the police. You found your way in. I trust you can see yourself out. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, Here. <sighs> Thank you. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> All right, come on, Nathan. Let's go. Are you okay? Holy shit. Hey. 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 Sam? Oh, 
Lee, you all right? Wait, we have to do something. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. You can't just leave her here. There's nothing we can do for her. All right, we have to run. If the cops find us here, then this. Ma'am? Nathan! We gotta go. Right now. Front gate looks clear. Front gate. Got it. Okay. Hey, Dad! You all right? You there! Don't move! Run for it! This way! We can lose them! Freeze, God damn it! Pack this way. Go, go, go. I'd say we're clear, but we catch our breath for a second. Some night, huh? Some night. That old lady. Hey. Hey, you listen to me. That wasn't our fault back there. I mean, that lady, she, she was, um, sick. I mean, it's okay to feel bad, but there was nothing we could do about it. So what are we gonna do now? I can't go back to the orphanage. You can't go back to your job. Then we don't. Sure. No, I'm serious. We get as far away from this place as we possibly can. Yeah? And how long till the cops find us? Oh, I think they'll be looking for Nathan and Samuel Morgan. Yeah, that's us. What if it wasn't? Nathan, back at that mansion, you knew just as much about that stuff as that poor old lady. Here. I always felt that we were destined for something great. But until tonight... I didn't know what that meant. But this... Mom's unfinished work. This is our chance to restart our lives. With brand new identities. What are you talking about? Well, I know some guys. Pretty good at forging papers, too. 
Now, as for our new name... Mom believed that Sir Francis Drake had heirs. Who's to say he didn't? You're serious, aren't you? Nathan, we were meant for this. And I promise, you and me together, we're gonna go far. So what do you say? Nathan Drake? Everything changed after that. You know, we became explorers, adventurers, mostly thieves. Ow. Okay, just hold still. You know, for a while it felt like you know, if we weren't taking turns going to jail, it was because we were in jail together. And you know, after I lost him, I, or after I thought I lost him, You didn't want to bring him back up again. Something like that. Well, that's it. Now you know everything. With you, I doubt that that's everything. But... It's a lot. I'd love to know what you're thinking. I'm thinking that you're lucky that I found you when I did. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't lose a limb or anything. <coughs> it would have been a royal pain getting you out of here. How did you, uh, find me anyway? Oh, you know, easy. Just follow the sound of gunfire. <laughs> no, I mean, how did you get here? Oh, of course. <laughs> Come in, Sully. Hey, darling. How's he doing? Oh, you know, he's banged up, but he's alive. Par for the course. Now we just need to rescue the other Drake. What do you mean? I'll let Nate tell you. Hey, pal. Glad you could join us. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it. So what happened to Sam? Rafe's got them. Shit. You know where they are? Uh, yeah. They're headed to the northern side of the island. See if you can find a place to set down over there. Once we get Sam, we're gonna need to get out of here pretty quick. Copy that. Hey, hey, what about the treasure? Forget it. We don't need it. But Alcazar... No, there is no Alcazar. It's all bullshit. Wait, you mean... the dip, the... The escape? Yeah, Sam made it all up. What an asshole, right? Look, I'll fill you in on everything when I see you, okay? Yeah, I can't wait. Look, you two be safe down there. You know us. JJ. Thanks. Sure? No, I mean... Thanks for saving me. Again. I almost didn't this time. Right. Come on. I got us a ride. So, we're headed to the northern side of the island? Yeah, New Devon. One of the founders of Libertalia. And that's where Wraith is taking their brother. The treasure's probably there. Just need to save Sam before they find it. Look. Up there. I borrowed it from your shoreline friends. You slid all the way down from there? Yeah, it was the quickest way to get down to you. Now we just gotta figure out another way back up. Yeah, here. <laughs> 
So, have you been here long? On the island? A few hours now. Did you see the colony? I did, from the air. Pretty incredible, right? I didn't get the full tour. I was a little preoccupied with the island. Right. <laughs> so, did uh, Sully fill you in on the deal with this place? Yep. Henry Avery, 400 million. 12 founders, hundreds of colonists, something like that. Yeah, that just about covers it. Had some time to kill on the prowler. Wow. Is that an elevator? Sure looks like it. I swear, Avery recruited the best engineers of his time. He must have used it to move supplies up river. Yeah, that's a fair bet. Where's your car? Just need to get up there. Well, what do you think? Which way? Well, let's take a look. Here we go. I can boost you up there. Great. Sorry. Hey, do you think there's another way up? Uh... Hey, I see a path up here. There's a way through over there. See if you can find something. Yep. Hold on. Hey, nice jump! Not bad, right? Way to go, Nate. Piss a girl like that off. Idiot. Come on, I'll meet you around. I'm okay! Sort of... Everything's under control! See if you can get back up here. Yeah. Yeah, roger that. Nate, can you find a way out of there? Looks like a dead end. Well, maybe the elevator still works. I doubt it. 300 years old. Been exposed to the weather, and who knows if it ever... Got it. Oh, look. It works. Just uh, meet you at the top, I guess.
Chips. Got any smokes? Who the hell? Crap. Stop the bear! Say you got that! Hey! Nice move! Nothing to it. Now then, which way is the car? It'll be easier to spot from higher ground. Right. Good idea. Oh, we're getting some exercise at least, right? Worth a shot. What the? Someone took him out! What you got? Talk to me, man. Okay. I think that's it. Shoreline certainly earned their reputation. Let's go before more of them show up. You see a way out? Up river. There's an opening by the falls. <laughs> wow, check out that elevator. It's massive. I'm guessing New Devon's at the top. Then let's get up there. So here's my question. 
Why does Ray Fadler want AJ's treasure? It's not like he needs the money. What's the glory? He want to be known as a guy who only got rich because of his inheritance. Walking away isn't an option for him. Well, Ray's is a good match for Shoreline. He needs their muscle and they need his money. They do? They seem pretty well stocked. Shoreline got involved in a couple of civil wars that didn't pan out for them. Nadine inherited her father's mess. She's probably hoping that this will put her back on the map. <laughs> hey, easy! Uh, the road continues on the other side. Let's find a way over there. So far, so good. Keep heading upstream. Bet you could write a killer article about all this. <laughs> I could. I doubt anybody would believe it. Oh, you could take pictures, too. I didn't bring my camera. Kinda wish I did, though. So, why do you think Sam didn't come straight to you after Rafe got him out of here? I think he wanted to gather every clue that Rafe had on Avery. Plus, he needed time to come up with that crazy outburst. I just looked it up. That is one crazy contraption. It looks big enough to fit the car. Well, here's hoping this one works as well. Let's look around. Of course not. It would have been too easy. The water wheel's still working. Well, either we fix this thing or we find a way to climb it. Let's see what's what. Anything? 
Nothing yet. Gonna climb higher. Need an elevator just to fix the elevator. Detach the winch now. Okay. I'll bring the car to the elevator. Good call. Here we go.
You drive. You sure? You seem to be doing fine. After all that, I need a break. So I was thinking, all this engineering and architecture, it doesn't come cheap. You think there's even any treasure left? We're wondering that ourselves. Control again. We're getting there. You didn't happen to bring us some spare clothes, did you? I did. Great. They're on the plane. Not great. That damn. We can drive through the sluice gate. Try the other one. You've seen that guy. And behind door number two. Close-ish. You need to get more speed. Uh, hey, easy. Watch this. Hang on. We did it! You sound surprised. Maybe a little. two for two. Yeah, which means we're due for some disaster. Well, the water wheel's working. That bodes well. Give me a hand with this. Okay. 
Here goes nothing. Three for three. You gotta love that pirate engineering. Wow. It's like a postcard. Yeah, Libertalia. Come for the beautiful views, stay for the life or death gunfights. <laughs> So what made you change your mind? Hmm? You said you almost didn't come back. Well, I couldn't leave when you were clearly in over your head. And you know, there's that whole marriage vow thing. For better or worse. Yeah. For better or worse. Give me a hand with this. Alright. Okay. You know, even if you think that you're protecting me, you don't have a right to be shutting out. No matter what it is, you're supposed to come to me so that we can work through it together as a team. I know that. Really, I do. It's just. I. I. I... You know, it. We should stay focused. There'll be time for this later. Next stop, New Devon. We'll see them soon. You two doing okay so far? We hit a few hitches, but so far so good. All right, good. Keep in touch, will you? I'm not the no news is good news type. We'll try. Over and out. Okay, should be on the other side of the bridge. Hang on tight. I can't! Power's too strong! Uh, Brace Nate? yourself! Hang on! Uh, I'm cold. Nate! There! We can climb up those rocks! On it! Go! Go! I got it! Come on! Hey! Uh, waterfall! Waterfall! Come on! Over here, quick! Gotcha! Uh, 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 huh? So much for the car. <laughs> Come on. I wasn't trying to protect you. It's just, I, I made a promise that I was done with this life. 
We both did. Yeah, but I broke it. I didn't tell you because I was afraid. Afraid of what? Of losing you. I guess I was uh, protecting myself. You know? We have a lot of ground to cover. Just keep moving. Yeah. This way. <clears throat> At least we're on the right side of the river now. Yeah. That would have been bad. Maybe we can come back here on a vacation, huh? Maybe. Ah, slippery. By your lonesome? Hmm. Now rest in peace, my pirate friend. Judging by the clothes, they're colonists. Maybe it was a fight? No, I don't think so. Look how they're arranged. Yeah, you're right. They're stacked. They were just shoved against the walls. They were already dead when they were brought here. This is a mass grave, Nate. Hello? Who is this? Now look at the sign. Traitor. It's one of the rebels. That's a bad way to die. Here's another one. Sorry, buddy. No disrespect. That's one way to quash a rebellion. I have to wonder if this was always the plan. What, to slaughter all the colonists? No, to lure them here in hopes of finding a utopia, only to rob them of everything that they have. We mm, are dealing with a bunch of pirates. Well, that is pretty diabolical, even for pirates. Digna factories, we're keeping us.
Digna factis recipimus. We receive the due reward of our deeds. Especially if you cross Avery. It's from the Bible. The penitent thief. Dismas. Avery was a little obsessed with him. Avery doesn't strike me as the penitent type. Well, in his mind, I'm sure he thought he was. That gate's not budging. We need to get up and over. Hodie Makeum, Ares in Paradiso. Today you will join me in paradise. Some paradise. <laughs> Need your help for a sec. Those things don't look steady. They're not. Be careful. Excuse me. Welcome to Avery's neighborhood. It's a nice place. <laughs> if you don't mind some structural problems and water damage. Yeah, clearly some drainage issues. <laughs> a real fixer-upper opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Looks like somebody blew that dam and then flooded the whole place. You know, I forgot. Pretty good at this. All right, so which one of these do you think is Avery's? Uh, my money's on that one. The one that's still intact. Ah. Oh. They're not so bad at this either. Yeah, well, you know, I had a little practice. I read a few books. Shit, no. shit. What? What? The front door. It's Sam. He's still alive. Yeah, for now. Come on. All right, keep your eyes open for shoreline types. Yep. Here goes nothing. Whoops! Whoa! You all right? Yeah. Watch your head. Ooh, someone had it in for this guy. Oh, another old note. Uh. 
Dragon. We're in Christopher Condon's house. Shit. Shoreline. Lena, get down. I see them. Push on. <clears throat> Might be a way through this cave. Yeah, it's worth a look.
Whoa! Okay, going to look strong. The only way out is up. It's too high for a boost. After you. Oh, how sweet. You want me to be your decoy? No. I was being gentlemanly there. <laughs> Just busting your chops. <laughs> yeah, well, the chops are plenty busted already. Thank you. Okay? Yeah. I'm fine. You? Well, wet again. Tired, bruised. Oh, hungry. I could eat. Other than that, fine. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Okay, come on. Let's keep going. <laughs> Come on. Let's try cutting through this house. Yeah. I'm right behind you. Well, they definitely had the motivation. Uh, you don't think it's them? I just find it odd that all these houses are underwater except for one. Avery's. Exactly. I'll bet this is from the Gunsway. Oh, what's this? Jesus, got all Lord of the Flies in here. No kidding.
getting there. Yeah, let's just hope we're not too late. These cannons look like they were retrofitted. Yeah, improvised defenses. Guess they didn't expect they'd be fighting each other. Guess not. Ooh, nice water feature. Time for another swim, I guess. Whoa, whoa! Stronger than it looks. Hey, Nate. Over there, that looks like an exit. Right you are. I'll weigh it down for you. Great. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. you make a great counterweight. Uh, I mean... It's okay. I'll choose to take that as a compliment. As well you should. Smell some water. I made it. I'll find a way up for you. Move this out of the way. Yep. Okay. Hey, look. Thomas II sigil. So we're in his mansion. Second in command. Going up the pirate hierarchy. Good lord. <laughs> Looks like we found the party. Looks like we're a little late. <laughs> hey, Nate. <laughs> Check it out. It's another sigil. Oh my god. What? them. Elena, these other pirate captains have founded Libertalia. What the hell happened here? Well, I'm no forensics expert, but I would say... bad drinks? Apparently. So what was this? Some kind of wealthy pirate suicide cult? <laughs> yeah, not likely. Not these guys. On behalf of Lord Avery, I invite you to my manor at sundown tomorrow. The time has come to abandon our animosities and reunite under the banner of God and Liberty. Signed, Thomas II. What do you bet? Thomas too, Henry Avery. Looks like our hosts didn't stick around to clean up their mess. Well, that wasn't very gracious of them. Okay, so... So these guys sparked 
a full-scale revolt when they claimed the treasure for themselves. Now, they took care of the colonists, but then they had to deal with each other. And I'm guessing things got pretty messy. So, Avery and Two invite them up here to, um, uh, what was it? Uh, abandon our animosities. Abandon the animosities. Avery makes a grand toast. For God and liberty! Arg, ahoy, mateys, all that. <laughs> and they all take a swig. Except these two. And just like that, all the treasure of Libertalia becomes the sole possession of two men. <laughs> these are some of history's greatest pirates. And they all perished in an instant at this very table. It's incredible. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I, uh... I'm sorry. It's okay. So, since our missing hosts aren't here at Two's Manor... We should head over to Avery's. Yeah. Let's go. There, for posterity. Hey, up here, slowly. Right behind you. Be careful. I'm okay. I got it. I'll meet you up top. Hey. Hi. And we are officially inside Henry Avery's house. Of the day, ostentatious. So why didn't he kill Thomas too? Was he like his right-hand man? Yeah, that's exactly what he was. <laughs> Can you imagine taking orders from a paranoid psychopath? This sounds like my first job. <laughs> what, the producer on your TV show? No, my manager from Macho Nacho. You worked at a Macho Nacho? It was a high school job. Did you wear one of those hats? The point is, my boss was a paranoid psychopath. He was the manager at a Macho Nacho. Just watch it, okay? Look, Shoreline barricaded the front door. And left a bunch of muddy footprints behind. Let's see where they went. <laughs> I know, right? I expected to see someone by now. Yeah, it's like they all up and vanished. You don't suppose they're 
pirate ghosts. Don't even joke about that. Hmm. Footprints. Hey, come on over. Footprints go through this door. Crap, it's blocked from the other side. Why bother barricading their path unless they found something? All right, help me push this open. Yeah. Waiting to ambush us. Yeah. All right, let's get that door open. See what they didn't want us to find. Okay, here we go. You ready? It's a letter. Signed by... Avery. Really? Read it. My loyal subjects, as the sun sets on our glorious paradise, we must endeavor to preserve its riches. The traitorous, too, knows our secrets, so we must act quickly. Destroy the dam, cleanse New Devon. Here we go. Uh-huh. And move my treasure through the passage to my ship. Two and Avery turned on each other. Are you really surprised? I guess not. Here you go. Thanks. Let's go find that passage. There's no more footprints. They end here. Okay, so where did they go? Pirate ghosts. 
Let's look around. This is amazing. What? What have you got there? It's a copy of the British proclamation to apprehend Avery. Seems like he was proud of being the most wanted man in the world. <laughs> it's Sam's lighter. Did he drop it? Yeah, on purpose. Whatever it is we're looking for has to be somewhere around here. There's gotta be another way out of this room. Maybe that passage Avery mentioned in the letter. But where's the switch? Maybe this is a switch. No. I wonder if... Nope. This could be... But it isn't. Here we go. Damn it. Nate. Yeah. Did you find something? I think so. Whoa. <laughs> I think they figured that out for us. How did you do that? There's a bloody fingerprint right here where Libertalia should be, and I pushed it. Nicely done. So the letter said that Avery was moving his treasure to the ship. Yeah. Do you think the treasure's still on the island? I think, uh, I think it doesn't matter anymore. Here we go. Careful, Nate. Watch your head. Yeah. <sighs> oh. Looks like Avery built himself a panic cave. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where this goes. <laughs> Guess we're gonna find out. This place doesn't look very stable. Look, fresh footprints. They must have come this way. That's a lot of footprints. Let's take this slow. Crap. There we go. What the hell is that? My money's on Nadine's men. They'll use any excuse to use dynamite. It'd have to be pretty dumb to use it in here. Yeah, they're pretty dumb. Uh-oh. You bring any spare batteries? Yeah, yeah, but they're at the bottom of the ocean. I won't ask. I won't tell. Okay. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, hold up. So, some kind of death trap? Uh, yeah. But Sam and the others somehow made it across. We just gotta follow their lead. Ugh.
wouldn't be so bad if it didn't freak so much. Just don't go where the footsteps aren't. <laughs> what? I'm just a little preoccupied with not blowing up right now. And unclench. Whew. Lena, look. Footprints stop here. They must have made it through and it collapsed behind them. gonna move this out of the way here. Yeah. Damn it. I have to find another way. Oh no. Just hold on a little longer. Crap. Come on. Damn it. Hey, you still have Sam's lighter? Yes, good idea. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Of course he used it all up. It smoked like a goddamn chimney on the boat right over. Relax. I brought some matches. You did? Of course. There we go. Sorry. Just one sec. Hello? Over here. Ow! Ow, that's my head. Ow! I tripped. Over here. Thanks. Glad you came prepared. Somebody had to. Come on, let's find a way forward. Nice romantic lighting, huh? You have a funny idea of romantic. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> hey, this looks promising. Boost you up? Yeah. Come on. your head yeah I can't go this way careful <clears throat> whoa what the hell is this this is creepy Hands that stole from me. Wow, Avery's not even pretending to be sane at this point. I don't like this place. Me either. Let's get out of here. Dead end. Hey, look. Avery had some gibbets left over. Gibbets. What? It's pronounced gibbets. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, no one likes to know it all. Gibbets. Wait, is that a <laughs> You okay? I think so. What was that? Trap. Avery really didn't want any trespassers down here. Right, watch your step. Me? You're the one that stepped on it. Fine. Watch my step. Oh, hell. God damn it! Are you okay? Uh, so far, so good. Crap. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Well, now we 
know what caused the explosion we heard earlier. Yeah, no wonder so many parts of this passage caved in. Jesus. Decorated this chamber too. More human mobiles. Shit. Damn it. Are you all right? <coughs> yeah, but can't go that way now. Great. Don't explode, okay? Careful. Fine. I wish I brought earplugs. Am I yelling? Well, we're back on the trail. Footprints go this way. Be ready for a fight. Oh, I always am. Is that a, in reference to me? No. Would you calm down? You calm down. These guys weren't paying attention. There's no sign of Sam. We'll find them. Oh, hell. Elena, get down! You idiots trying to bring the whole place down! Appreciate Avery's exploding mummies. The mouths that spoke ill of me. I'd hate to see this guy's Christmas tree. I don't see any footprints. We must be on a different route than the others. All right, let's see if we can catch up. Why, hello. Hey. So I guess this loops around. Guess so. Jesus. This was one of Avery's guys. Dead men tell no tales. <laughs> Looks like a fight broke out. Yeah, two's men versus Avery's. Excuse me. <sighs> Hello. 
Some kind of key. What's that note? Oh, right. It's, uh, it's from two to his men. We can use the key to get out of here. That's good. Hmm. There's some symbols on the back. Well, let's go find a keyhole. Oh, boy. Explode now? Huh? No? This guy has some serious trust issues. Oh god, oh god, oh god! <coughs> okay. I'm done. Moves. Thank you. Huh. Not quite as creepy as all the hanging bones. Still, it's a little creepy. Yeah, maybe three out of ten. I'd say four. Really? Four? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's another death trap. Yeah, no footprints to guide us. Okay, we're off to a good start. Follow my lead, okay? Just be careful. I'm always careful. <laughs> Says the guy who set off every mummy bomb in this place. Well, no, not a lot of experience with the mummy bombs. Thank you. So far, so good. Yeah, knock on wood. Better not, it might be rigged. <laughs> yeah. There, made it. In your face, Avery. <laughs> That's our way out of here. Oh, God, are those the rest of Two's men? Yeah, gotta be. We know Avery likes to make an example of his enemies. He definitely likes making exploding mummies. Yeah. Let's, uh, tread carefully in here. Keyhole? Key. Wait, it could be a trap. We really don't have much of a choice. Oh boy. But I have a good feeling about this one. Huh? Do it. We didn't get blown to bits. Oh, shit. 
You didn't bring a knife by any chance, did you? No. Oh, but that guy's got a sword. Here, help me swing this thing. Just like old times, huh? Lena? Lena? Hey! Hey! Lena, come on! Lena! Uh, my hero. <laughs> oh no, you didn't do that. No! That's not funny! Oh, oh you have done much worse. No. God, you gave me a goddamn heart attack. Oh. Let me listen. Sounds good to me. You realize we're now even for everything I've ever pulled, right? Yeah, like ever. No, not by a long shot. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, you've got mud everywhere. Anyone ever tell you you have a funny idea of romantic? Yeah. Yeah, I may have heard that somewhere before. Good talk. Good talk. That's gotta be Sam. Come on. At least the gunfire means he's still alive. For now. Is that a galleon? Yeah, sure looks like it. <clears throat> Holy crap. It's a ship graveyard. Looks like we can get down this way. It's about as safe as anything on this island. We're getting closer to them. Sam. He's surrounded. Yeah. Come on. We gotta go get him. We gotta find a way to the beach. Hey! They're behind you! Find some cover! Go!
Here they are. Harder they are to take down. Elena, this way! Squeeze through here. Okay, now where did Sam go? He went this way! Huh? Where's your answer? A sight for sore eyes. Yeah. How about we get off this damn beach, huh? Absolutely. Did you find my lighter?
out of here. How many of these trucks did you bring, Ray? Better in my head. Nice work, kid. Yeah, thanks for the assist. Come on over. I'll get you out of there. <laughs> Please. Good to see you, kid. <laughs> right in the nick of time. Yeah, well, got a little antsy waiting around to hear from you two. Oh, no, we gotta find Sam and Elena still. Hey. 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 Are you okay? Yeah. We heard those explosions, we thought. Yeah, that's all this guy. <laughs> you saved his ass again? Naturally. How are you doing? Good. Good. There were some close calls, but, um... He covered me. Hey. Hey. How's that? Oh. <laughs> Bullet grazed my shoulder. Yeah. You? Cliffside grazed my face. So how'd you lose Rafe? <laughs> and you led his crew right into one of Avery's traps. Smart. <laughs> hey, hey, look. About the whole Alcazar thing. Hey, just, we gotta save that for later, okay? Yeah. Which way? On the beach, other side of this town. Okay. Good, I hope all that ruckus didn't attract any attention. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. What are we doing? What do you think we're doing? We're getting the hell off of this rock. Right, we, we, we could do that. 
Or we could head in that direction, which is a shortcut. Shortcut to what? To Avery's treasure. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, Rafe's got to go all the way around, but we can hey, just... Hey, screw Rafe. Hey, Victor, with all due respect, maybe just... You just this... don't know when to quit. Look, we're all here for the same reason, right? Right? We didn't come after the treasure. We came after you. And I appreciate that. I, I do. But we're good. And we've got the lead for now. <laughs> we can do this. Nathan, come on. Huh? Look around. Okay? Avery scuttled every last ship on this island. You know why? Because he was hell-bent on keeping his treasure. Exactly. No matter the cost to the others around him. Because he didn't want anyone to follow him. Because he was leaving. Look at this. Okay. I found his map of the island. Okay? That's his ship right under that mountain. That's where our treasure is. And it is exactly where Rafe is headed right now while we stand around here and argue like idiots. What if he's already left the island and his ship sunk somewhere out there in the middle of the ocean? Then we find out where it got sunk. Oh, boy. How long have we been chasing this thing, huh? You and me. No offense to these guys. But they don't get it. Actually, Sam, they do. They really do. Okay. Trust me, they've seen this kind of obsession before. But Sam, <sighs> we're not those kids anymore. We're not. And we got nothing to prove. Victor, where's that plane? Right this way. Is it far? Not very. Oh. Just through this port town. <clears throat> What if Shoreline set up an ambush by the plane? They didn't. And what makes you so sure? Because they're heading to the mountain. For the treasure. This way. There she is. It's a long drop. How did you get here? I hopped down a few of these walls, but it's good to find another way around. I jumped down from up there. It's too high to get back up. Yeah, maybe there's something we can put under it. <clears throat> Give me a hand, Sam. All right. Thanks. We got it. Hey guys, through here. Whoa, check that thing out. It's like a sky rail or something. Think it still works?
no controls, but I bet I could pull the platform with my rope. Maybe if you could get to that wooden platform down there. Well, we're getting there. I can't wait to sleep in my own bed again. So close, yet so far. Huh. I got an idea. Nathan, give me a hand. Okay. Victor, can I borrow you for a sec? Sure. All right, go ahead, Nathan. Yeah, we'll hold it down. You jump across. Yeah. Made it! Here we come. Got it. All right, hop on. I'll pull you across. Okay, we're ready. Well, this is some impressive engineer. Whoa! Hang on! You guys all right? Yeah. It's like a roller coaster. Come on up, Nick. All right, Nathan, you climb on up. I'll grab you. Go! Jump off, quick! Nathan, give me a hand. Sam! Bitch! Sam, come on! Huh? Right. Come on, just jump, I'll catch you. Let's go! No. No, no, don't you even think about it, you hear me? I'm sorry I got you into this. All of you. Hey, all of that doesn't matter anymore, okay? Just, just jump. I gotta see this thing through, Nathan. Sam, hey, listen to me. If you do this, I'm not coming after you. You hear me? I'm sorry. Sam! Sam! Stupid, stupid. You called your bluff. He's gonna get himself killed. Come on. She's, she's probably right. Of course she is. Let's go. Up here. Maybe we can head him off. I'm gonna save him? And I'm gonna punch him. All right, let's just worry about the saving part first. What the hell is he thinking? <laughs> After everything that we... Wasn't this enough? <sighs> let's just find him. Hey, we can get over that wall with this. <clears throat> Come on! Here, we got you. <sighs> you ready? supposed to get up there we don't have enough time Nate no not by yourself Look, I'll come right back okay Look, he is not gonna leave without a fight yeah, well then I'll fight him if I have to but either way I'm bringing him back just get the plane as close to the mountain as you can and be ready for a quick getaway like there's another kind it's not fair Doing the dishes, we take turns. Don't even think about not coming back. <laughs> I love you.
Same to you, cowboy. Sure is a way. Just gonna head to the creepy mountain, save Sam, get the hell out of here. Yeah, be laughing about the whole thing tomorrow. Here we go. Back on the trail. The footprints end here. Footprints. Well, you didn't fall to your death, so. Still get a chance to kill you. Ah, Jesus Christ. but no cigar, pal. Almost at the finish line. Got the best of you. <laughs> More footprints. Well, in we go. Hey, Sam! Sam, if Rafe and Nadine don't kill you, I just might. So much harder than it looks. Hey, I 
can make it. I can do it. Oh shit! Oh, 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 crap! Oh! I made it. I don't know how I made it. I made it. Every ship. This is my way down. Done here? This is the last of them, ma'am. Good. If we are, we can catch up with the others. <sighs> Sam just stole our goddamn boat. He's headed for every ship. Come on. Let him. We're done. We're done. Most of my men are dead, Rafe. And those who aren't have already left. Can you see that? The end is literally in sight. That maniac pirate of yours has rigged this entire cave. I'm not setting foot on his ship. Nadine, if you cut and run right now, the loss of all your men, everything that we've done, is for nothing. We have millions in gold right here. I'd say that plus our lives is something. No wonder so many of your men abandoned. Excuse me? We're on the verge of making history here, and you're willing to just walk off with a pittance, a fraction of what Sam's gonna get from that boat. If he can walk away from that ship alive, he can have it. Hell, I'd say he's earned it. God knows you didn't. Now look, we can stand here. 
and insult each other all day, or we can finish what it is that we've done. Oh, we're finishing it, all right. Sorry, ma'am. Thing about mercenaries, Nadine, their loyalty, it's bought. It's not earned. Now come on. Either we can finish this thing together, or we can just end it right here. Let's go make history. And a girl. By all means. <laughs> See what you have in store for us, Captain Avery. Nate? Where is Sam? Oh, he's right there. Sam? Relax, he's alive. Well, this idiot nearly got us all killed. I'm getting him out of here. No, you're not. Rafe, you can have the treasure, all right? Just let me save my brother. <laughs> <laughs> After everything he's done? How noble of you, but no. We stay here any longer and we're all dead. Is that what you want? It's not what I said. What do you think, Nadine? <coughs> Good to see you up and about. Be a deer and relieve Nate there of his gun. Hand it over. You really think you can trust him? Huh? Not your concern. Now why are you trying to instigate? Nate? Nadine and I are our partners. I don't screw over my partners. Get over there. You and your brother, though. Right from the start, you took advantage of my generosity. You tried to cut me out, and it's high time you learn. What are you doing? Now you give me your gun. <laughs> Nadine? I won't ask you again. You are being...
profoundly stupid right now. Look over there. <laughs> Stop screwing up. Jesus! I said look! Okay, it's a couple of skeletons. So what? I don't know as much about history as you boys, but I've got a pretty good idea who those are. Well, enlighten us. It's Avery and two. They killed each other. Good for them. What's the point? Everyone obsessed with this treasure gets what they deserve. What, you're just leaving us here to die? Oh, I'm just leaving. Whether you die or not, I don't really care. Nadine, wait. So long, Rafe. Nadine! Nadine! You open this goddamn door right now! Rafe, she's gone! Come on, give me a hand, we'll all get out of here. Won't work. Come on, help me with Sam, and I'll help you open the door. No, I'm not going to be able to enjoy one of these coins, knowing that you and your worthless brother are still sucking here. Hey, just, just calm down. You can practice your fencing when we get outside. Nate, just shut up. Seriously, Rafe, this is insane, even for you. You want to hear insane? Nathan Drake raced a madman and his entire army to the steps of Shambhal. <laughs> Jesus. That's Jesus. Nathan Drake found the lost city in the middle of the Rubal Kali Desert. God damn it. Come on, we can get out of here together. Nathan Drake discovered the fable El Dorado. Come on, Rafe. Stop. Nathan Drake is a legend. <laughs> you know, I, I shot the man who told me that. Look, I get it. You don't like me very much. You know, for all your greatness, Nate, you have nothing. You are nothing. And I warned you to get out of my way. I have sacrificed everything to find Avery, and I'm not gonna let a couple of them. Two bit thieves, a senile con man, and a washed up journalist take that away from me! You care about that parade of losers so much. I'm going to make sure they join you. On guard, dickhead. That's the spirit. You know how to sword fight? Yeah. Sticky with the sharp end, right? That should be fun. <laughs> Tired. 
Underneath all the bravado, you're just a sad little boy with delusions of grandeur. Who, by the way, can't fence for shit. So long, Nathan Drake. Nathan! Treasure Rafe. It's all yours. Holy shit. Hey, come on, let's get you out of here. It's too heavy. Strike it. Try again! It's no use. Okay, come on! Take this! Damn it! Listen to me. Listen to me. All I ever wanted to do was find this treasure with you. Hey, hey, shut we up. We did it. We did it, brother, okay? It's all right. There's gonna be another way. Nathan, you gotta go. There's gotta be some. You gotta go! This tumped! There is no other way! Come on, Nathan. I gotta know you made it out all right. Nathan, the whole place is about to blow up! That's it. That's it! What the hell are you doing? You stress me! God damn it! Just get your head down!
Shit. Oh, Nate. Nate. Hey. Come on, I got you. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh. Hey. Hey, Sully, I got him. Where are you? We're right here. So, yeah, feel free to sell anything I left behind. <laughs> sure, I can't give you a lift home. After the last few days, I think I'd like a plane with drink service and reclining seats. Plus, uh, she and I have a lot to talk about. Yeah, you do. And no more late-night phone calls about one last time. <laughs> Promise. Thanks, Sully. Take care, kid. Don't be a stranger. Next time you're in town, beers are on me. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> and then the bunny escapes anyway, and it leaves little bunny surprises all over the headmaster's bed. Hey, 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 what are you telling her? Just about your little magic phase. Oh, I hate you. What was your stage name? Go on, tell her. Nate the Great. <laughs> it's not funny. It makes sense. In his defense, he was actually, you were pretty good. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hey, look, Sam, it has been an experience getting to meet you. With the handshake? Well... Bring it in for the real thing, sister. You take care of this gnome skull, all right? Yeah, I will. I'll join you in a sec. Yeah. I like her. God help her, she sure seems to love you. <laughs> I know, right? Listen, the offer still stands. I appreciate it, but I'm good. I know, but if you feel like you're imposing, it's, you're not. We not talked about, about that. it. It's not about that. It's a little bit of that, okay? Yeah. But I just kind of thought that after we found Avery's treasure, I'd be satisfied. Uh -huh. Instead, I've uh, <laughs> kind of left with this strange feeling of emptiness. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, as thrilling as the next adventure might be, in the end, I always left with that same feeling. And sometimes you just gotta choose what you're gonna keep and uh, what you're gonna let go. Well, I guess I'm just not there yet. And besides, you know, you've got a few ancient cities on me. And I can't let that slide. So. Yeah, I left a couple out there. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's it's our ride. Yeah. Uh, Sam. Come far. You sure have a little brother. Come here. Listen, you don't do anything I wouldn't do, all right? Get out of here, Vemos. <laughs> What's next for you, hmm? Hmm. <laughs> well, before I got dragged into this, I was working on a business deal of sorts. Of sorts? Hmm. Dangerous? Mm hmm. With these people, yeah. It's up there. Well, I just so happen to know a certain someone recently out of prison who might be perfect for this kind of work. Ooh, I don't know. Is he trustworthy? More or less. As is Portuguese. Quando seu marido volta para casa? What's that mean? How long before your husband gets home? <laughs> That'll do. Come on. 
You got any more of those cigars? Don't push your luck. What's going on? Land a big contract or something? Oh, even better. I'm on the verge of selling Jameson Marine. No kidding? Yeah. Wow, that... Well, hey, I guess, I guess congratulations are in order, huh? Well, not yet, but I'm confident it'll go through. They drove a hard bargain, but in the end, I think we came to a uh, mutually beneficial agreement. That's, that's great. Are, are you gonna stay on? No, 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 no. I think I'd like to just relax, hang with the family, go fishing every chance I get. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> so who's the sap who's gonna buy this place? Oh, uh, you are. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, come on, seriously. Oh, yeah, seriously. <laughs> wait, Jameson. Hey, wait, wait up, man. Hey, morning, guys. What are you doing here? Just thought I'd take, you know, one final look. Already gave your husband the keys. Okay. Perfect. Is, is this for real? Nate, all you need to know is that you'd be making a very wise investment. Do the right thing here. Call me when you're through. You got it. Hi. Hi. You, you're buying Jameson Marine? We are buying Jameson Marine. Oh, okay. How? Why? Well, I heard this rumor about a salvage job off the coast of Malaysia, and I thought it'd be right up oh, no, our alley. No, Honey, look, we barely got out of Libertalia alive. Yeah. Hey, taking an illegal job? You know what that leads to. Who said it was illegal? <laughs> Look. This came in this morning. Is this legit? Yeah. Some of my old contacts out there, they worked their magic with the Malaysian permit office. <laughs> it was great. I didn't even have to bribe anyone. Well, that's good, because I don't know how we could possibly even afford to do this. Here. Hold out your hand. What? Hold out your hand. Come on. Oh, my crap. Where did you get this? It was in my jacket pocket. <laughs> Along with a bunch more. A bunch? Sam. He's a sneaky one. Yeah. Of course, most of them are gonna have to go into our venture here, along with all the new camera gear. Camera gear? Yeah. You know, I figured as we're pulling all the cargo up from the dive, we could hire, you know, a small crew. We could film the whole thing and resurrect my old show. What happened to just... Living a normal life. I think in our attempt to lead a normal life, we may have oversteered. Look. When I was on that island, I missed the adventure. I missed us. And so now we have a chance to do what we love. But from here on out, we are going to operate on a strictly legal basis, all right? And I will be doing all of the shooting with my really expensive camera. Wow. You've really thought all this through, haven't you? More or less. But listen, just say the word and I will call the whole thing off. 
What? No, 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 no. I, I don't want to be that guy who ruins Jameson's early retirement like that. That'd be cruel. Right. <laughs> it's not gonna be easy, you know. Nothing worthwhile is. So. What do you say, Nathan Drake? Sure, why not? Hmm. Yeah, as long as I don't have to do any paperwork. <laughs> well, I can't do it. I'm gonna have my hands full with the camera. Well, I'm gonna have my hands full with all the diving. Okay. Fine. We'll take turns. Yeah. Or... I could play for it. Seriously? No, listen, I have been practicing. I'm getting good. No. My hand eye is way I better than it used to be. Really? <laughs> I cannot do that to you again. Are you afraid to blame me? I am so not afraid. On a to scale of one to ten, how scared are you to blame me? Like a three. Yeah, well, jack that up to like eleven, all oh. right? Because <laughs> I'm coming for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my. That's. Okay. Fine. You're on. Old school. Mom? Dad? Anyone? Yoo-hoo! I think they abandoned us.
Here we go. Hey! <laughs> Off she goes. Day. Now all we need is the rest of our boat crew. Anyone? No? Nothing? Okay. Well, the food's all here. And not here either. Okay, I guess I'll just wait then. Got the search area narrowed down quite a bit. Whoa. Good job cleaning this up. figured it out. Oh, yeah, I was hanging out with Soli for this one. Oh, this was definitely my favorite dig. <laughs> Look at you all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. <laughs> I remember that one. So goofy. Hmm. He left his keys. He left his keys. There's no way. It's just no way. <sighs> Whoa. Knew it. What is this? Whoa, nice, uh, gun holster, Dad. Kind of creepy, kind of cool. Gunsway heist? Wait, did you go looking for Avery's treasure? No way. Is that Dad? Sick Parvis Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Huh. What's this? What the hell?
Oh shit. Hey, there you are. Hey. Been looking for you. What are you doing in here? Uh, looking for you guys. Come on, we loaded up the boat. It's ready. Cool. I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Why? Uh, I just need to, um... Uh, What's up, get... Cassie? Okay. Don't be mad. Hey, I said don't be mad. Keys. So, what did you see? Nothing really. Well, just that photo of you two and Sully. With a bunch of Spanish looking treasure. And a shotgun. Yeah. Huh. This is bound to happen sometime. Maybe we should just tell her. She's not ready for it. Ready for what? All that crazy shit in there? Language. Yeah, language. Sorry. But you guys are literally keeping skeletons in your closet. Or at least a silver skull of some kind. No, I don't think I'm ready for this. Really? Nate? It's time to have the talk. Yeah, it's totally time. Wait, which talk are we talking about here? She's just a kid. She's older than you and Sam when you started That's, all of this. That is different, and you know it. Okay, look, if you guys were into some shady stuff, it's totally cool. <laughs> but I think I'm old enough to know about it, right? Old enough? How old are you again? Ah, <sighs> funny. Mom? All right. Well, let's see. Um... For me, it started when this guy called me up with a scoop on a massive historical find. <laughs> it sounded like a complete fraud. Yeah, handsome fraud. No, I hadn't even met him yet. She knew. <laughs> she knew. So this fraud says, if you fund the trip, then I'll give you the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. And for the record, I totally delivered. Yeah, you delivered us into the hands of Indonesian pirates. No, oh, come on, you know I had nothing to do okay, with that. Okay, guys, time out. You're saying that you were attacked by pirates after you found the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. Is that right? Yeah, yeah that, pretty that's pretty much right. it. Yeah. Bullshit. Language. Language. Crap. Better. All right, so keep going. You know what? The sun is up, boat's ready, wind is just right. You want to continue the story? I say we do it on the water. Come on. Well, wait, what would Francis Drake look like? Was it gross? Actually, he wasn't in there. Yeah, just his journal with a map to El Dorado. The city of gold? Uh, that's the legend. Turns out it was just a statue, a cursed statue. No way, seriously? Yeah, seriously. But uh, I'll get back to that. 